stream, stream, stream. Hello, everyone. We're live. We're live. Chatters. I'm at Alveus Sanctuary. <laughs> Is it Alveus or Alveus? Alveus. Alveus. You can say either. I don't okay. care. We're with Maya. <laughs> Look at She's them waving. Oh, my God. They're so friendly. <laughs> I love this. I love that emote. Hi. It's so cute. It's um, so cute. We also have a charity going on to, uh, for Alveus. Maya is making like this um wolf. Have you leaked it? Did I just leak it? No, no right? Okay, thank God. <laughs> they I know. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, go off on. Um, you can t talk more about that, but it'll yeah. go towards that. Um, so yeah, and I turned ads off, so you won't get any ads. That's so um, nice. But yeah. Um, um, we're getting a little. F. A little bit of an internet issue. Um, Stand by. It's probably fine. It's probably just like a little mm, glitchy. Just a little small thing. Yeah. I'm really excited. When I got here, I saw Winnie. I saw Stompy. Stompy got up just to look at me. Wow. I got balked at by the chicken. One of the chickens. Amazing. We're going to meet awesome. all of them today. I'm so excited. Guys, if you don't know what's happening right now, <laughs> if you're like, who is that girl? Why <laughs> is Janet here? <laughs> what is going they on? Know. Ah, they know. Wow. 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 Thank you, Wound. Thank you for donating five dollars. And earlier, Toolful donated twenty five. Thank you we so much. Live, live. So thank you so much. Yeah, let Thanks. me explain what you're donating to. So, so this is a nonprofit animal sanctuary conservation education center. We rescue a bunch of animals from all different places. I'll tell you all about each of their stories as we meet them today. And then we do conservation education programming. That's Mr. Ian on to you with another two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll, I mean, we could raise it because I was going to say, because like I told her that I'm afraid of spiders and like bugs. And she says she has a scorpion. And I, I was like, if we reach a goal, I'm down to like look at it. Or to look, look at or it. Can I, <laughs> if I touch, I shouldn't touch you it. You can hold, I can hold the it. container that he's okay. in. Okay. Okay. Perhaps. Or something. Something like that. Okay. Well, we already so. hit our goal. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You guys are so <laughs> That's sweet. That's awesome. Um, so we rescue a bunch of animals here, and we are a nonprofit, so we're entirely run off of donations. So thank you guys if you're donating today. But also our mission is just to teach people about conservation and teach them about animals. And so if you're here at all, you're contributing to that. So thank yes, you very thank much. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And then we bring streamers here. And then they meet the animals, or I introduce them to the animals, and you guys can ask whatever questions you want, and Janet can ask whatever questions yes. she wants. And thank you for the $20. Thank you, Sunny. But yeah, feel free to ask questions, and we will begin. But I think for the $50. Oh my god, thank you, Meg Tets. Thank you. Wait, actually, I, I, this okay. is special. Sorry, oh, continue. Okay. Oh, no, I was going to say, um, I was telling Maya I might cry a lot. Yeah. Like, I just feel emotional. But we love that. Okay. The people <laughs> love when... The collaborators cry. Okay, I, I'm glad they love that because I'm worried that people are going to call me dramatic or something. I just like feel. No, I that's fine. I just feel a lot. Tattoo, thank you so much for donating $50. Do I put this on thank now? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, cry because you you love them or because you're scared of them? No, because I love them. Okay. And Perfect. just like knowing that they have a better life now. Oh, and yeah. That they're that's nice. And that it's just like. Yes, yeah, she I told me, <laughs> and then she validated me by telling me Peach Jars was sobbing the whole time. I'm like, thank God, thank I God. I did say that, and time begins. Thank you for the fifty dollars again, guys. We so what Janet was talking about is we are rescuing two wolves. Uh, May fourth is when they're getting here, oh. and they're getting this giant enclosure. It's uh, 220 feet by 65 feet. It's huge. You'll see it up there. Um, and it's very expensive. So this is like perfect timing for everybody coming to do these collabs right now, because we can do we can do fundraising. Yeah. So perfect. Yes, it is on Star Wars Day, but it has nothing to do with Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're putting on gloves. Do you know why? No. Do you have any guesses? Um, I th I thought we were gonna touch bugs or something. Okay. Poop? Fair. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just like make you start dissecting <laughs> poop. <laughs> thank you for the fifty dollars. Thank you for the. Oh my god. And the time begins. Thank you for the fifty. And Kula Shiaka. Thank you for the fifty. Wow. And spaghetti. Thank you for the ten. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Chat. Do you know why we're Georgie. wearing gloves? Oh, Georgie. Who's Georgie? She knows who Winnie is, but she I doesn't know who, know who Georgie is. This is exciting. Georgie. Georgie is a star. Oh. Oh, you're gonna love him, Janet. Oh my God. You're gonna love him. And oh. this is very special. It's Georgie's feeding day. Feeding day? You're the feeding. only person that's coming this week that's gonna be able to feed Georgie. <gasps> I feel special. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I feel so getting special. Fed once a week. George. Wait, so Georgie doesn't eat every day? No, he eats about once a week. 
And um, you actually, it's very cool that you're feeding him. You also, I'll explain it later. Oh my, is he a frog? Yeah. Oh my God, he's thick. <laughs> he's a frog. Oh, Georgie. Here oh, he is. Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like him? So funny, George. George. So how do they do? They feel good when I pet them like this. Like what? Do he, they doesn't feel? Really <laughs> he doesn't really care. He's he doesn't really care for like scratching. Care. You can touch oh. him. Um, here you want to hold him? Yeah. So you're just gonna make sure to get his back legs, because otherwise he'll try to like okay back up yeah. off of no you. No backing up, George. That's very nice. Oh, oh hi, my God! Honey. Wait, cute photo op. <laughs> Yay, Georgie. That's so cute with his little like mucus. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he's so cozy in my hands though. Like I feel like he he loves me. He's been described as a hamburger. He's been described yeah. as a pickle whoopee cushion. Um, he's you know he's he's an African bullfrog, guys. This is the second largest frog species in the world. I was gonna say I didn't know they came so big. Is he heavy like Ollie? Who's Ollie? Your pet? My cat. Yeah. He, no, he, not as heavy as not Ollie. as heavy Ollie as Ollie. Ollie is big. <laughs> Ollie is big. Georgie's almost four pounds. Uh, yeah. He is an African bullfrog, so he comes from Africa, um, and. He's very, very cool. He's very chill. In the wild, they'll bury themselves for like 10 months. He's smiling. He's, look at him. He's, He's so smiling. happy to be here. Georgie loves his his role in Georgie. teaching people about frogs. You get to eat today. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so exciting. Do you guys know why we're wearing gloves really quick? To hold Georgie. Yes, he's almost four pounds. Look at him. What, why are you surprised by that? He's massive. He is. He's 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 <laughs> he's like dense. he's giving my wrist a workout, which is good because <laughs> it needs a workout. Wait, like oh, semi permeable skin. Yeah, What's yeah. So amphibians have semi permeable skin. They can oh, absorb no, things no, through their skin. Um, so that's great because in the wild he can absorb oxygen through his skin oh, while he's okay. buried underground. But it's bad because he can absorb pollutants through his skin. So they're very sensitive to water so quality. So if we don't wear gloves, we would hurt Georgie. Yes, if there okay. was like hand sanitizer or Got whatever it. on our hands. Oh, so. honey. Oh, look don't at litter. him. Because it's bad for frogs. Don't litter. Don't Recycle. litter. Recycle. <laughs> Recycle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, frogs are really sensitive to water quality. Georgie. Georgie, where you going, honey? Does he jump? Little <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen him do a backflip once. People don't believe me. I swear to God, he did a backflip one time. I can't imagine him. We did were he make the landing? Did he stick kind it? of? It was kind of. <laughs> I was I feeding him, and like he had to jump up to get it. <gasps> then he jumped so see. enthusiastically, he like flipped himself Maybe over. Maybe we can see him jump today. It was cool. I'm so excited to feed him. I'm okay. Not gonna lie. Do you know what he eats? Um, bugs. That's huh. a, yes, he does eat bugs, oh. but today he gets a very special snack, oh, okay. actually, and it's not a bug. Oh. And I'm worried it might gross you out a little bit. Oh, uh, worms. No. Oh, no, I'm scared. You know. okay. Mice? Yeah, it is a mouse. Oh, wow. It is okay. not an alive mouse. Actually, right. it's like super, super not alive uh. because it's also skinned. <laughs> Right. Because <laughs> right. No, it's fine. It's fine, guys. I'm sorry, uh, George. Go. Um, we skin the mice so that he doesn't eat too much oh, fur. Oh, so like you skin it. Yeah. Wow. Um, so he That's doesn't eat so too much fur because it can you. make him <laughs> constipated. Oh my god. You and also, it's covered in calcium powder. Oh. So it looks kind of yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You know. So it is an honor oh. to feed Georgie, Georgie but just beware. Okay. I got you. Don't Are you worry. ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just think it's chicken. Georgie, well, we're going to we face chickens, you this way. Actually. You're going to face that way. And then I'm going to give Georgie, Janet your no, food. No, Georgie. Honey. No, honey. You can't <laughs> go. Okay. You're going to feed him great. with tongs. That's awesome. That's awesome. I saw it. That's really great. <laughs> oh. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I can do this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guys, okay. it just so happens Georgie gets fed on Fridays. You know, no, honestly. Here, here we are. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Georgie! Georgie, stop turning Georgie, around. Georgie. Oh, wow. Please. Okay. National okay. Geographic, sir. Okay. All right, you ready? Chat, you ready? Mm -hmm. This is Georgie's favorite food. Mm. It's, a <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like chicken, right? Mm -hmm. It's chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, what I'm so that? sorry. Mm, I'm psyched. I'm psyched. I'm psyched for this. She's excited. Okay. Do a jump, Georgie. Man. Okay. Here, I'm gonna here switch places okay. with me. Okay. And you can hold this in front of him, and yes. I will turn him around yes, again. Yes, I will. 
Here, Georgie, that's for you. <laughs> yummy! <laughs> yummy! It's dead! Yummy! Oh, buddy. <laughs> Georgie, do you see this? Georgie, I... Mmm. Mmm. Sometimes it takes... Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! 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 I did not expect this. Oh my god! Good job! Uh, Good job! Wow, you're wow! Look at you go! Look at you go! Look at you go! You go, Georgie! You go, Georgie! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> I'm so scared Quick he's going to spit it on me for some reason. He will, you know, no, he won't, don't right? worry. He loves his food. He loves it. Okay. He would never spit it out. Okay. He, he loves He mice. loves it. He's really savory. You know what? <laughs> you are actually crazy good at that. Chat really? can attest. It usually yeah. takes Georgie like eight times, like eight tries oh, it takes him to eat it. Oh, that was like I second try. It. I yeah. dangled it. You killed that. I was like, mm, no, that was I excellent. I want that. See, <laughs> Yeah, it's so, it's definitely not disturbing just seeing the leg hanging out with the <laughs> tail. I feel That's so bad. That's awesome, Georgie. <laughs> Jenna like pulled up and she was like, oh, there's cute yeah, chickens. Look at the cute cow. I thought the I'm scorpion so was like the worst one, you know what I mean? Um, But it's fine. You I'm know, sorry. No, honestly, this is, um, I gotta grow up. <laughs> I gotta grow up. You know what I mean? No, it's great. Look, so. now he's on the spaghetti portion of his oh, mouse. Yes. Delicious. Delicious, Georgie. Yay. Delicious. So Georgie is a sit and wait predator, which means exactly what it sounds like. In the wild, he will sit and wait and then eat whatever comes by. But for well, him, I we bring it to him. Yeah, because there's just no way he would survive out there. I mean, it took twice. <laughs> it did. He, uh, he, he, like, People ask that a lot. You're, you're so right. It, it's kind of incredible. Right? Like, how but does he yeah. not see it? Because yeah. you would think you would just be like, oh, my God. Oh. Especially because he hasn't eaten in, since last week. Yeah, I won't argue with you there. <laughs> You're right. Here, I'll not a you. very good predator, are you, Georgie? What but would Georgie okay. normally eat in the wild? He would eat a rodent or a small lizard or a smaller frog if it came up, if it came up in his path. Um, but otherwise, just bugs. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Do you guys have any questions about frogs? <laughs> I'm sorry you're so traumatized. I should no, start no, with something no, else. No, this is great. I like I said, I had to grow up. Honestly, now that it's it was fine, it was dead, it was already skinned, which yeah. you're so Look, awesome he for finished. being able to just skin it. Good job, George. Oh, yeah, Wait, he's mouth. showing you his teeth. Look, technically uh, they're not teeth, they're called odentoids. Georgie, one more Georgie, time. Uh, Show him for the say ah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> uh, he's got little bony protrusions. Um, so they're kind of like teeth, but yeah, they're not true I didn't teeth. see him chew. Nope. Yeah. It just looked like it was like. Does he spit the bones out? No. How big is his poop? Actually, really big. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause, okay, because I was gonna ask that earlier. Because when I was holding Georgie, I read in chat, "I hope he poops on you." Which, by the way, was so messed up. Why would that is so messed up? He would never do that because he only poops in the water. Oh, his poops I are see. like this big. Holy. Yeah, they're like crazy and they're big. Just in the water, he mm -hmm. likes to do it. He only likes to do it in the water. Yeah. Okay. Is that normal for all frogs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Oh my God, we hit a thousand dollars. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much for, for the wolves, for Georgie's oh, 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 more more Georgie um skinned rat mice. <laughs> That's so many mice for Georgie, yeah, guys. Yeah, and Calcium, look, look he's so he's happy. He's so grateful. He's so for happy. For you. Yay, Georgie. Georgie. The name's so perfect. <laughs> Thank you. He does. Did you name him? A chat named chat, him. Chat, you did a good job. Yeah, he is very much a Georgie. He's so Georgie. You want to know a crazy, now I'm so just traumatizing you more. You want to know a crazy, no, like, no, disturbing like, frog fact? Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know how pregnancy tests work? Like okay, you pee on a pee stick. On mm -hmm. Yeah. Before we had the disposable sticks, we would inject the urine of females into the backs of African clawed frogs. And if the pregnancy hormone was present, then they would lay eggs. So they were like live pregnancy tests. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so, oh. so we imported a bunch of clawed frogs, African clawed frogs into the US. Is Georgie a dad? No, is he, is he, did, are you he has not been injected with urine no, okay. and he's also not a father. Okay. Um, but yeah, we, we imported a bunch of frogs and it's the potential spread of <laughs> disease for amphibians around the world because we used to do that all the time. Georgie. Crazy guys. Not so fun fact. 
Thank you for the ten dollar donation. Thank you so much, Beville. Thing with the fifty. Hoy Ella with the one hundred forty five. By the way, thank you huge. Does that mean frogs can be used to test for pregnancy multiple times? Yes. Um, so before frogs, they were doing it. This is actually really sad. They were doing it with um, oh. rabbits uh, oh. and small mammals. But to do it with rabbits and small mammals, you have to like see if their ovaries are enlarged. So you have to dissect oh, them. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. But frogs, they're laying eggs, so it's multiple it's, use. Okay. Pregnancy no, not test. the rabbits. Yeah. yeah. But now we just pee on a stick. Yes. Yay. Innovation. Yeah innovation that's crazy um okay here let's grab georgie guys okay. if you want to help frogs in the wild number one <laughs> he's already settled out he's on the move number one uh don't litter because he'll soak it up in his in his skin yeah yuck yuck um georgie oh. won't feel good yeah we gotta support clean waterways yeah. for animals like don't georgie litter for georgie Look, he's taking a stand. Look at him. He doesn't mean it. He's just a no baby. Littering. No littering for me. He wait. You want to see Georgie as a baby? Oh Can yes. We pull that up. Wait, how gonna, old is he? He's about three years old. Oh, okay. Um, but when we got him, he oh, was. Okay. Where is it? He it's was little. He could. Screen. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. <gasps> baby George. Wait. Re rec recreation. Oh my God, Georgie! You were just a little honey bunny. <laughs> Look at him cuddling that was, your finger. That's my <laughs> hand, too. Yeah, he was just like, mommy. <laughs> he definitely saw you as mommy in that photo. George. There's no way. He's so George. cute. George. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Let's. Oh, wow. Oh, look at him. What a difference. What a difference. He's a, a grown man. He is. Jenna, he's what do you he's like mellowed out, I feel like. What like do you think about Georgie? Mellowed. I love Georgie. You're a fan. The whole the whole like the whole rat thingy, you know, I can I could do that for you. That's I could so do that nice for you, you once a week. That's I actually so love, nice. I love Georgie. <laughs> Alright guys, say bye to Georgie. Bye Georgie, I'll miss you already. He had an excellent meal, thanks oh to Janet. I wanna see his like enclosure. His, yeah, he's got a big oh, uh, and he likes to burrow himself. He in does. There. He likes to bury himself. Yeah, because when you brought him up he was like covered in, <laughs> in dirt. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. You can take your gloves off. Oh, okay. Like. Um, oh I also I pulled this mucus off Georgie, I didn't tell you guys because he okay, buries himself. I thought that was a stick. No, yeah, it's. I didn't it's, know that was mucus. It is mucus. It helps with water retention. Thanks. Oh. Um, so when they bury themselves in the wild to stay moist, they'll cover themselves in mucus. Okay, Cute. I'm gonna bring you another one. Okay. It's not an amphibian. It's a reptile. Oh. Doo -doo. Georgie's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> You're the lunch Hi, lady. Georgie. Do you have a good lunch? He's just looking at me. Oh my god. Hi, Georgie. He winked at me. I'm special. <laughs> is that... Is that what the reptile's Hi. name? Toaster Strudel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. Why looking tall today? Because I am tall. Toaster strudel. Toaster strudel. Yay. Oh, I'm scared. He's not going to hurt me, right? No, 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 no. no. Right. Toast is very no, chill. No, this no, is no, a blue. No, you can scared. touch him first if you'd like. Okay. Toast is a blue tongue skink. We love toast. Yes, toaster strudel, full uh, legal name. Scale came off. He is shedding a little yeah, bit. He's shedding <laughs> a bit. Oh, another one. I just don't expect it every time. It's such a weird feeling. It's my first time touching a. a <laughs> every a time lizard. I do have like, does this hurt though? No, no, no. no, no. Does it feel good? Oh yeah. Actually, it's kind of satisfying. <laughs> can I put it here? Yeah, it's fine. Wait, it's like really. Do you help him shed? Like no, he can shed on his own, but it's like own. not a big deal if they okay. come off on your hands is that a snake this is a lizard uh it's a skink specifically a blue tongued skink look at his little he's called a blue tongue skink because his whoop, tongue is blue. his tongue is blue Hi, honey. why is his tongue blue chat why is his tongue blue janet um because he got it like that because he got he's it like special. that. special he's different because he's special and he's different um because he's poisonous it is to tell predators that he's poisonous <gasps> But you're not actually. But he's not. Exactly. Oh. It's called dimatic display. Um, so it's to show predators, like, don't don't mess with me because I have a blue tongue and that's scary in nature. Uh, but 
he's not poisonous. The baby. Yeah, he did not drink too much blue raspberry Kool Aid. I love touching his like back. He's smooth, right? He's so I feel smooth. like it feels really good. Like it feels so cool. Would you like to hold him? Yes. Okay. How do I properly hold him? Um, you can give him like a whole forearm. Whole forearm. And then like hold it like this. Like this. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll put him. Okay. Put him on. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on, toast. Ooh, those are some He's sharp a little scratchy. Nails, yeah. But it's all and good. And hold him close to hold you. Hold him close to Oh, me. yeah. Hi, baby. <laughs> Cute. See, it's like a little baby, kind of. He is. Except longer and Hi, scalier. Does he have, like, a favorite place for rubbing or, like... Anywhere that's warm. So he'll like your forearm because it's probably oh, warm. Sometimes he, like, funny. climbs on over people's shoulders because yeah. it's warm. He is native to Australia. Yeah, guys, feel free to ask any questions if I see them. I'll shout them out. Um, this is a reptile. The last thing we saw was an amphibian. So the things that differentiate them. <laughs> Janet loves toast. I just saw it on your face. Oh, God, she's going to cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's laying on me like a little baby. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's being so good. He he's resting his chin on my forearm. And you know when, like, animals rest really cute, your actually. chin on you? It's like, <laughs> stop. He does like he's you. Just a baby. What's with the tail? You know where we got toast from? Where? He came from another zoo and he was living with his brothers and sisters and they ate his tail off. So it grew back. That's why it's got this weird like bump. Um, Your siblings are off. Yeah. They did that to you? Yeah. Oh my God. So he couldn't live with them anymore and that's Honey. why he's here. Kind of sad. That is so sad. What does he like to eat? He, his favorite food is snails. Oh. Um, he likes other, <laughs> okay. I won't make you feed him. He likes bugs. Uh, he eats some produce as well. Like Zucchini that. and greens oh, okay. and stuff. That's good. Yeah, get your greens in, honey. But yeah, <laughs> toast does also smell like snakes do, so they smell with their tongue. So if he sticks his, he's super chilling right now, so he's not doing it. But if he's sticking his tongue out, he's catching scent particles and um, smelling that way, which is cool. But the difference between amphibians and reptiles, guys, amphibians have the semi-permeable skin. These guys have scales, scaly skin, not permeable. Um, amphibians are generally in cro close proximity to water, right? Reptiles are the first invertebrates to live independent of water, first vertebrates to live independent of water. Um, what else? These guys at birth, mini toast, like mm. mini, mini guy, just like- Like any pictures? Like running around, I don't know, oh, we didn't have when he was that little. Oh but God. when he was a baby, he was precocial at birth, so he would come out and just run around like a little mini guy. Oh my God. And Georgie at birth was tadpole, <laughs> useless, like little, <laughs> in the water little- There he, oh, G Georgie lump. has covered himself. <laughs> He's gone, I don't see Yeah. Him. He's under the thing So, though. So they're, they're different. Um, how old is Toast? Toast is two, between two and three years old. Oh, two years old, maybe. Um, show his gloves. Okay. He has gloves? So you know how he's shedding? Oh, yes. He sheds in like bits as opposed to oh, a snake that's like a long yes. thing. So these are his gloves that he shed off. Wait. <laughs> Is that cute? They literally little retain the like hands, like yeah. the fingers in it and everything. They look Mitten like gloves. Mitten check. Thank you for the $50 donation. Thank you, Shannon Eater. Look at the mittens. Oh, that's a good mitten shot. That is shot. a really good mitten shot. <laughs> that's yours, honey. You gonna give more? Oh, yeah. You gonna shed more? Has he shed his like body yet? His top body? Um, It happens it over time. Scales? Like he's shedding right now. He's, yeah. I don't, he was shedding more before, so. Yeah, I was petting him and all. Man, came you out. really like her, huh? D really? Does he actually? Yeah, he's like, so I'm delusional. Like I think no, no, no. he does, but like <laughs> I think delusional. they all do. You know, like I'm feeling very princess right now. Like they all love me. Yeah, he's not moving. They're also <laughs> ectotherms, so they need uh, outside heat sources to regulate oh, their own temperature. Okay. So if your arms are warm, he's like, ah, oh, this is nice. And I am. He's warm. like recharging. You know. I'm really warm. This is about as big as toast will get. Yeah. This is the chillest I've ever seen him with a guest. Yeah, he's he is super vibing right now. Sometimes he's kind of wiggly. I feel so special. Does shutting mean he's getting bigger? Yes, yes, same with snakes. Um, Baby. One tough thing that reptiles face in the wild, they'll do this, right? They'll like bask. You guys seen a lizard out there like laying on pavement or something, oh, just yes. getting really warm? Yeah. That's a problem for reptiles that go to roads because they're everywhere oh, yeah. and it's just like this big hot can... open surface um so look out for wildlife when you're driving uh, because a lot of reptiles will be on the roads, snakes and stuff like that um and then another problem that toast has in the wild i said his favorite food was snails 
Um, gardeners really don't like having snails, so they'll apply chemical pesticides. And if he eats a snail that's eaten a pesticide, then they he eats the trouble. pesticide. Mm -hmm. So we want to try to avoid chemical pesticides as much as we can. Natural alternatives, wherever you can. Or Those you are my can go live with Maya. Or in that. sanctuary. Yeah, or you could just do that. Just <laughs> fed like that, yes. Do they eat their shed like other lizards? I have not seen Toast do that before, but perhaps some skinks do. Hush, little baby. <laughs> Don't come home with me. Are you surprised at how much you like the lizard? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was scared when you brought him out. Yeah. But he's just like He's, he's really sweet. literally a baby. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a little just baby. He's a baby. Do you, does he change colors? No, this one doesn't. Okay. Um some lizards do, obviously, right? Like chameleons and stuff, but but not him. How did he get his name? Stupid story. It's really actually just a bad story. Um he was born on the 4th of July. We were looking for uniquely American foods. And so we were like, oh, a Pop-Tart is American. A Pop-Tart. But then we liked Toaster Strudel as a name down. better. No more. Okay, honey. He might be. Oh, okay. Here, Here we go. Babes. Toast, you want to show your speed? Oh, yeah. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I expected <laughs> really fast. Whoa, wow. whoa. <laughs> oh, Look oh, at him go. He's aware of edges. He's aware? Yeah. Oh, you're so smart. He's moving. What's that in the back? Is that ear hole. Ear hole. Okay. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, well, so they have ears. Yeah. Is that a snake? No, he's got legs. He's got legs. <laughs> I know they're small, but come on. <laughs> he's got little legs. He also has eyelids. He can, he can close his eyelids. That makes him not a snake. I thought he was going to be really fast when you said that. What's his top speed? I think they actually can go relatively oh, fast, okay. but Toast, like... He's chilling. He's chilling. He doesn't really... Mm -hmm. Look. Honey. Look, he's on the move. He's a low rider, chat. Try he's driving that over. He's such a low rider. He is... Any surface. Hey. He's bottoming out perpetually. Hey. Is his hearing good and sensitive? I'm not sure exactly how good their hearing are, but I think they mostly rely on their sense of smell. And their vision. He's very, very present looking around. He, is. he He's like looking around. You know, right yeah, now. he like looks down and looks up at you. Yeah. It's really it's really cute. Like he looks like he has a brain. Like he for has sure. thoughts. He does have a like brain he and he has thoughts. thoughts. Thank you for the fifty dollars. Thank you for the fifty dollars. Thank you so much. Is he warm blooded or cold blooded? So they mm -hmm. are ectotherm. So technically neither, um, but they do rely on external heat sources to maintain their body temperature. So yeah. if you use those terms or you want to use those terms, he would be like cold blooded. Cold blooded. But and does he bleed red or Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. Yep, okay. he would have red blood. He likes snails, but would he eat meat? Yeah. Probably. I don't think Georgie has a brain. He likes chicken. Georgie has a brain. <laughs> really? Yes, he does. Thank you for the $100. Wow. Thank you, Best Mortar. Thank you so much. Is he a blue tongue skink? Yes, he is. I don't think Georgie has a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, she, she doesn't believe me. I She's like, there's no, there's, there's no way. There's no way. I didn't see him looking around. <laughs> whoop, whoop. A toast close up. Hi, honey. You show your tongue. Blech. Say ah toast. Ah. He's shy. Wait, he's getting the good shot. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. He's a professional. <laughs> In front of the camera, someone said sorry toast. Georgie is the best. Which one did you like better? Um, toast. I mean, toast is more cuddly. <laughs> Georgie toast was is just like cuddly. I don't know if t if Georgie knew where he was. That's fair. I'm not <laughs> sure that, yeah, I, that like, I could say he did. Toes, you know, he sounds so sweet. He's got little he claws. So oh my God, and he's a shoulder baby. He is, yeah. He he's likes, a shoulder baby. we have an animal care staff that'll like walk him around in her hood. Oh. Like he'll just like sit in the hood <laughs> on warm days because he likes it outside. And I do love Georgie too. Don't get me wrong. Guys, if you want to help animals like Toast, less pesticides less chemical pesticides less, and watch where you're driving and watch where you're driving yeah all right everybody say bite a toast in his little bye. and his little hands and his ear hole and his ear hole say bye his, to his ear, ear hole. hole scared me at first that's fair it's that weird. was my first impression technically we ear also just have me. ear holes but yeah i just like never <laughs> seen a hole in the 
thing like that. I don't Thank know. You toast. It scared me. <laughs> okay, I have another reptile for you. Okay. It's bigger. Yeah, I knew. I knew. I know. Not bad. Georgie, are you looking at me? He's looking at me. Janet, this one's like huh? eight times the size. This one's eight times the size. Um, and they won't hurt me. No. No. See, like I know and I trust Maya, but still I'm like scared. I'm just so scared, you know? Cause like, what if, what if? What if they just don't like how I sound, how I feel, how I smell, and they just like hate me, you know? You know? Mm. Right? Oh God. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. <laughs> oh my God. No, Janet, it's okay. Great, yeah. Ooh, I'm scared. Maya. Oh, hi, honey. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> this is Noodle. Hi, Turned noodle. yourself in a knot, man. Hi, Noodle. This is Noodle. She's a carpet python. Here, how about you take this end of her? Okay. <laughs> that noodle. works. Noodle is a carpet Where python. Are you going, noodle? Doesn't she feel kind of nice? Yeah, when she slithers. Yeah, she feels nice. Okay. This is an Australian snake as well. She is a constrictor, mm. not a venomous snake. So she she can choke me out. Basically. She could, but she but wouldn't. She wouldn't. She yeah, wouldn't. because um, they'll only spend that energy on things they can eat, and they can only eat things about the largest mm. <laughs> about the size <gasps> of the largest part of their body. Hi, sweetheart. Friend. Wow. Noodle. What do you think? I mean, she's friendly. Yeah, she's I'm so just, chill. I, it's my first time ever touching. Um, really? Uh, yeah, a snake? A snake, ever, ever. Are you good? Oh, no. oh yeah, okay. Here you go. You hold her head. Yeah. Just looked like she wanted to get somewhere, but couldn't. Yeah. So guys, snakes can only eat things that are about, generally, about the size of the largest part of their body. So it's like Slither I.O. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Yeah, um, so they're only going to constrict things that size. She would never wrap herself around a human's neck and constrict them for no reason because she knows she couldn't eat us. There's no way. Where you going? Where you want to go? She's exploring. This is a, exploring. she likes climbing trees in the wild, oh, okay. so she'll like look to go up all oh, the time. Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> so she like why. wants to go up on like shelves and stuff. Okay. What is Janet doing? I have no idea. I also don't know what she's doing though, so I'm just <laughs> kind of like... She's managing her. her. It's just yeah. like a long noodle, you know? You just know, you just exploring. Um, this has another crossing ledge. Snakes are so beautiful. Can snakes sense fear or is it a myth? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I think she's, you know, if you're like shaking, she can feel that for sure. She's also got heat sensing organs, so she can kind of see the heat signature of things. So if Janet's like sweating, perhaps. And I am. You know, and I a am. little bit. Oh, then I she am. can tell. Oh, and she knows she's going to my armpit. Oh, she knows. that's nice, Noodle. Yeah, thank you, Let's Noodle. Where are you going? Up in the wire. But where is she going? <laughs> Does she think I'm a tree? Oh, you, you want to hold here? the whole snake? Okay. <laughs> How do I? You can Hold go it. around your neck. Okay. <laughs> around my neck. <laughs> okay. That'll do. There you go. And I'm not hurting her nope. by doing this? No, she's good. Okay. All right. I, I'm warming up to her. So she, brave. Honestly, she's... The more I... Did she hiss? No, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> but she didn't hiss? Because <laughs> I think she's hissing. <laughs> Is she mad at me? It's okay. I have <laughs> like, her head. You're okay, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> she is... Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure she is. <laughs> she did a little bit. <laughs> but it's okay. She's just voicing her concerns. She's my concerns. Her concerns is okay. She's not mad at you, don't worry. She's not mad at me. No. She just wants to explore. Yeah. Snakes are actually super chill, guys. They There's over 3,000 species of Maybe not. <laughs> there's over 3,000 species of snakes. Only like 20% of them are venomous. Oh, okay. um, and only 7% of them can actually kill people. They make them like the internet and even like movies. They make and them out to be so yeah, bad. Yeah, they make them out to be so bad. It's so, so I'm sad. I'm so scared of them. Yeah, that's fair. But the more I'm like exposed to this, the more I feel comfortable. With right. Her. Also, she's so friendly. Look, she, she is. says hi everywhere. <laughs> oh. 
she Wait, goes, that's so look, true. she says, yeah, ah. her skin <laughs> says H and an I. Where's her other? Do you guys see any highs? Chat, I spy. Hi, <laughs> anybody? Are you cuddly? Here's one up here. Hi. 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 <laughs> So she's about eight feet long. She's giving a really good demo here. Oh, yeah. Um, for how big she is. And there's more at the back. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at this. She really is. Yeah. Ooh. In the uh, in the U.S., you're nine times more likely to die via lightning strike than snake bite. Isn't that crazy? Um, it just doesn't happen much here, especially because we have so much anti-venom. Yeah. Um, you really don't need to be as afraid of snakes as you think. Okay. I know, I went from scared to like, oh, this is fine. Yeah, she's so I just chill. had to like touch her and, and it just... They also, not that I recommend picking up s snakes in the wild, <laughs> um, but I do it like sometimes and they're always so chill. Like Aww. you can just hold them like this. They're just like, okay. Yeah, I won't be doing that. That's fine. You yeah. shouldn't if you don't know what kind of snake But I'll take a picture for you <laughs> and I'll send it like, hey, Maya, look. Uh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Show her sad face. Does she have a sad face? She does. It's actually... <laughs> It's on her head, too. It's, like, really hard to miss. <laughs> oh, oh, like, oh, yeah. I, oh, oh, my <laughs> God. It's literally two eyes and a frowny face. She's not sad, though, guys. No, she doesn't seem she's sad. She's happy. She, she's, she's on the move. She's so, like, adventurous. Yeah, she likes to go places. Look at this. So she's got those holes in the sides of her mouth. Uh, those are the pit sensing organs I that sense heat. I didn't know those were holes. Pretty cool, huh? Oh. That's how she tracks her prey. Also, snakes smell with their tongue like the lizard. Mm -hmm. um, very, very cool. They have a forked tongue, which you guys probably know. Um, and it's so sensitive that can help, it can help them directionally. So if they pick up more particles on one side of the fork, then they'll veer to the right, like veer to the left. So they experience the world via smell, mostly. What's her name? Noodle. 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 Noodle, I actually love you. <laughs> yeah, she's cool. Which is crazy. Yes, so she loves Noodle. Of you. I was so scared of you. I don't know who that was like 10 minutes ago, but it's not me anymore. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> she wants to go everywhere yeah, else. <laughs> she's so exploratory. Like, yeah. I'll leave her up. She's like, no, put me down. The biggest issue facing snakes is, but there's a few things. One, habitat loss for all animals. Two, pet trade. Uh, exploitation of these animals in the pet trade. Where is They're, she going? <laughs> a lot of them are captured out of the wild um, to be sold in the pet trade. Wow. And then persecution from humans. People kill snakes indiscriminately. Why? Um, because just they hate them. And they, they're just like, oh, it might be venomous. It might kill me. Let me just kill it. That's messed up. So that's been a huge problem for snakes And as does well. she eat um, mice? Rats. Rats. Yeah, so bigger. But do, does she like them live or do you? Do no, you? all frozen thawed all here. All frozen, okay. This is a good angle for potential highs. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> potential <laughs> highs. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Noodle. Oh, okay. She's chilling now. She decided okay. she liked the spot. Yeah, she's she found her, her spot. Eye. Oh, no, she didn't. Never yeah, mind. she can't. Her she can't close open. her yeah. eyes. <laughs> she don't have eyelids. <laughs> can't close her eyes. I see. Well, what about the like fashion industry? That's a good question. Yeah, snakeskin. Um, yeah. That's also a thing. Uh, people... Uh, People do like snake skins. Buy fake everything. Fake yeah. leather. Fake everything. Fake, fake snakes, leather. Fake, fake skin. Fake everything. Fake fur. Ram, everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fake, fake, fake. Guys, is Noodle less scary than you think? She kind of chill. Huh? Huh? <laughs> that cool? Is there a way to differentiate between venomous and non-venomous snakes? Not really. A, a lot oh. of people think it's like, oh, if their head's triangular or their pupils are shaped like, but there's there's no like no way to tell. surefire. Yeah. Okay. Way to tell. You got an idea on a geographical basis. Well, if you just read it to it, you know, take a cool picture and then just go the other way, just in case. So nice, Noodle. Hey, Noodle, you're so sweet. I'm scared, but she's chill. Mm, she hissed at me again. No, you're okay. okay. <laughs> don't um, don't worry. She's she just very vocal. So vocal towards me. <laughs> and like, you're... You can Google Lens it, yeah. You know. um, thank you for the $5 donation, Jasmine. Thank Are you, you smelling? That's nice. Are you smelling things? I'm not going to draw a snake pee-pee. Oh, how do they poop? Or not how do they... Or yeah, does it come from... Yeah, they have uh, cloaca. And is it so little one balls? Hole. Nope, like it's like a... Really long? Actually, it, it's like white and brown, kind of like bird oh, poop, generally. Okay. Um, but it's like, honestly, the same size as Georgie. Georgie. Maybe a little bigger. Georgie has like massive poops for his yeah, size. Yeah, I'm surprised hers is the same size as Georgie, because she's bigger than Georgie. Yeah. 
Damn, Georgie. Does she recognize you? I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably not me. Maybe some of the animal care staff. Possible. I don't know. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Look, she's smelling. She's so cool. You guys see how snakes move too? It's really interesting. Oh, they, when you feel it, you like feel like her like, like contracting. Yeah, it like and contracts and then like it's so cool. Like, yeah, I can't even describe it. They it's have so cool. It's kind of like they have a ton of little feet underneath them. Um, they're just like longer scales that'll scoop the ground behind them as they're moving forward. And there's a ton of them under there. So that's that's how they move. Oh, I don't like the thought of them having like a ton of little legs, though. Here, I'll show you what that Ooh. looks like. Really? Mm-hmm. Here's a noodle shed. Um, so Can I touch that? Yeah, totally. Crispy. What <laughs> the? So this is a snake shed. Um, this is the top, like what we're looking at right now, oh, okay, all these like little scales. The and then the, the, bottom, the bottom, see how they're like longer? Oh, yeah. They're just like little Those scoops. Those are the scoops. Feet. Okay. They're not the like feet at okay, all. Okay, they're not actually feet. No, no, no. Because I was thinking like centipede kind of. No, or, no, not little legs. Or they're, little legs. Can we see? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, is this edible? Uh, I wouldn't eat it. You could probably eat it, but. But like, have you eaten it? No. Has anyone? So this is the, <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> this is the top of the <laughs> snake. This is like her normal scales. And then on her, on her belly, she's got these longer ones. See that? These ones right here. And so those are pretty flexible and they'll scoop the ground as she moves forward, <laughs> you know, to propel her forward. I'm not hungry. We we just ate. I was just like curious. It does seem really crispy though. Yeah, and I like, get why like you would I'm ask. just so curious. <laughs> oh yeah, I love your nails. <gasps> Thank you so much. So pretty. Do you like them? Do you like them? <laughs> she don't care. No thought. <laughs> just want tree. This is a bit disturbing. That's mean. No, it's not disturbing. She's not disturbing. Listen, okay, I kind of get what they mean at first when I first saw her. Yeah, but because look at her you, now. Yeah, but no, once you really get to know her, she's so sweet. She means well. She does. She's just a chill gal. She's just chilling. She's just living, Needle. minding her business. Look at her sweet face. She's cute. Hi, Mimi. Yay. All right, chat. Let's say bye to Noodle. How heavy bye, is she? Bye, Noodle. I just saw someone She's in chat say... She's not too heavy. Yeah, when maybe I, like 15 pounds or yeah, something. Yeah, she wasn't too heavy. Um, Especially because like when you put her on your neck, she kind of like moves away. So you don't have her full weight all the time. I would say... I would say when I held her... I would say Georgie. No, she's heavier than Georgie. She's heavier than Georgie. I'm We're gonna switch gears. Switch, switch, switch gears. Yeah. Okay. Um, she looked me in the eye when she said that, <laughs> which means that I think something bad's gonna happen. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This is my gateway bug. Gateway. Yeah. Mm. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them in here. A lot? <laughs> a lot? What yeah. I just want to warn you because I feel like sometimes I open it and then people are like, ah. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Um, wow! This is there is a lot. There's a lot in yeah. there. They like being all together. They do. They live in oh. colonies. Yeah, this Who is... Who are they? Marty. M all of them are Marty? Yeah, or? that's their name. They're All their names are Marty. Marty, Marty Party. Marty Party. Um, these are zebra isopods. Cool. You know roly-poly? Oh, yeah. It's like a roly-poly. Wow. Do you want to hold one? No. Just one little little roly poly. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. They're actually physically incapable of hurting you. It's not that I'm scared of them hurting me. They just give me the heebie jeebie a little. <laughs> um. All right. Okay. Yes, I will do it. No. Oh, well, can you hold it for a little bit until yeah. I really like? <sighs> Here, I'll show them Marty yeah, yeah. first. You hold a snake. It's different, guys. Hey, look, listen. Everyone has their own little things. This is Marty. Marty's a zebra isopod. This is like a Mediterranean roly-poly, sort of. So um, every time you open this, do you ever find, like, new Martys in here? Like, are they, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're... they're quite prolific. They're... <laughs> wow. Because I see a little baby one over there Yeah, somewhere. they're doing it in they're there. They're doing it in for there. For sure. Okay. Well, yeah. make sure you guys are, you know. Worst they can do is curl up into a ball. True. He's yeah. He's just a little that guy. That is true. 
Okay, Marty. Okay, put your head over the table, just in case. <laughs> Marty, don't crawl fast on me. <laughs> Please don't crawl fast on me. <laughs> Otherwise, I might hurt yet. you. Yay! Good boy, Marty. See, how come you... Ah! Why did Sorry, you stay Pokey still you. for my... Uh, Pokey <gasps> raided you with, like, a lot of people. Oh, my God. Thank you for the raid. We were talking about this earlier. I was like, oh, my God. I tuned in when she was seeing Winnie. Oh, my God, I was like, cute. oh, my God. You guys looked like you had so much fun. Pokey had her, like, cowboy hat, which I want to go buy one now. You should. It was she such a so vibe. Good. Oh she looks like a rancher. Yeah, it's actually she, cool. She looks so good. Hello, everybody. We're Hello. at Alvea Sanctuary. Um, I'm meeting Marty. Yes. Doing a, a, an educational stream where I'm introducing Janet to a bunch of animals. We just moved on to our bug program segment. Was there anything that Pokey like didn't didn't touch touch? Or she, uh, she the scorpion, like... but I, nobody touches oh, the scorpion. Okay, right, right, right. But otherwise, okay. she's great. Wow. She's being very brave she's here. Brave this I is am. an isopod. Um, Janet's gonna keep holding Marty because they're friends and she's very comfortable. Right. And then this is <laughs> this is a, a colony of zebra isopods. This is like a Mediterranean roly poly. They're very cool. They're detritivores, so they break down uh, organic material, uh, decaying material. Uh -huh. What do you think? Well, he's he's chilling. As, you know, as long as he wasn't like speeding on up my arm, yeah, down my arm, yeah, he's so then chill. Everything's fine. As long do as you want uh, to hold a, a whole log, perhaps? You know, like like one of these. <laughs> like this one, maybe. <laughs> That's just a lot of Martys. It is. That's just like, a lot, you know? I don't really want to mess with a whole colony of them. Um, Look, I've been holding it this long and they're not even on my hands. Yeah, because you're the real princess. Okay. <laughs> you're no, the real not recognize princess. me as their princess. I, I promise you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, what if I, what if you hover hand it and I'll hold it over your hand? But they're gonna fall on my hand because I see them no, dropping. No, no, I no. see them dropping down. No, no, it's no, fine. No, no, okay. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, she's me, gonna, she's going yeah, for the log. Let me you just go just... for the log like this. And make sure no Martys are here. Hi. Excellent work, Janet. <laughs> mm. There's so many of you. <laughs> These guys Maybe take a break. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's a lot. Uh, or you're gonna need a bigger container, guys. Are some of them asleep, or is that? Oh, they shedded. They do. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's their um, shedding thing. She is so brave. No, she loves it. Someone said she hates it. Is that true, Janet? Um, I don't love it. <laughs> I will be honest. I will be honest. But I, she doesn't this hate my favorite. it. This isn't my favorite, but I don't hate it. Like, I don't hate it. There are over 10,000 species of isopod. This is actually a crustacean. They can be this small. They can be purple. They can be orange. Whoa. They can be black. Uh, they can have spots. And then they can get this big. That's horrible. This is a... I don't think... <laughs> I don't think they should get this big. <laughs> this is a giant marine isopod. Um, no. And this is about life size. So they can get really, really no. big. Um, and this one would we live in the ocean. We shouldn't evolutionize that big. I think it'd be so cool to have it like no. a little dog. I wish they were terrestrial. I don't think they should. I don't think they should. Hi, Marty. All right, you did great. You can put them down you if you'd so like. Much. <laughs> well, I'm scared. Are there any under? Like, I don't want to crush any when I put them oh, down. Oh, you're good. They're very, very hardy. You guys they got are okay. Okay, I'm going to put one here. Make sure none of you guys escaped on me. Very good. Incredible. Marty's. Just why? We have insects to teach people about so how important this is not like insects. Uh, I have, yeah, it, at an aquarium, in not an in aquarium, the wild. an aquarium, and they were this big. Mm hmm. Just about. Pretty cool. Um, we call them wood lice. Yeah, there are lots of names for early polies. Uh, we have a bunch of bugs to teach people about how important they are. Okay, yeah, they're they are. very, very important. So, okay, tell me how important they are so it'll make me like them more. Okay, respect. I, maybe they, I just feel like I don't understand. They why break they down exist. organic matter, so they're like chew up wood and leaves and stuff and okay. make it into soils that we can use to grow things oh. so without bugs that are doing this decomposing uh, our planet would just be like filled with so waste it would be a disaster or yes like yes stuff. all Got the foods it. that we love i see bugs pollinators okay fruits okay veggies you keep you keep breeding you keep on keeping you keep on. on keeping on that's really yeah. good actually i do love fruit all right you ready to get a scorpion yeah okay <laughs> Thank you again for the raid. 
Hopefully I can catch you after the stream or something. Uh, Tass, ha ha Hato, thank you for the $15. Thank you. The scorpion's name is Puppy? That's such a cute name. I um, still get a little bit of heebie-jeebies. I'm actually going to bring you Tortellini. 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 That's the scorpion. Also a scorpion. And I only hold it in the container. Yeah, you can hold the container. Okay. This is Tortellini. <laughs> you can't jump. Okay. <laughs> That's Tortellini. With his food or what's the water stuff? Oh, uh, it's just his water. Oh, he just likes so he can drink water. Around it. Yeah. Hi, Tortellini. Um, excuse me. You be careful around scorpions, you know, venomous and whatever. Oh my god, you don't seem like you're being that careful. You're just like, excuse me. That's because we're buddies. Yeah, right. Um, so this is Tortellini. He has a baby Emperor Scorpion. Emperor what? Um, Emperor Scorpion is probably a scorpion you recognize because at full size, they're pretty, it's like a pretty iconic scorpion. They're African, um, and they get to be really big. They get to be that big. Whoa. As an adult. And he's just a baby still. Yeah, so he's done two molts, um, mm. which is these. Wait, you're, you guys are so cute that you keep his, they're all it's of It's like their, a baby book. Yeah, it's like a baby book. These are his molts. Oh, one, he was two. so baby. I know. And this is, which one? These ones look This one's size. puppies. Oh, yeah. Okay, puppies. These are some of Tortellini's molts. Very nice ones. I'm very proud of them. Can you see? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. The baby one's so cute. Yeah, so they kind of, they the shed just kind of like adorable. snakes do. It's so small. Amazing. Hi, Tortellini. Would you like to hold his container? Uh, yes. Excellent. There you go. And he won't jump. Nope. He can't. Okay, good boy. Yay, Tortellini. Tortellini. Scorpion's really important because they're carnivorous bugs. Uh, so they're a natural form of pest control. They eat other bugs. So mm. it's kind of a weird workaround for you. If you don't like Marty's. bugs, then maybe you like scorpions because okay. they eat bugs. Huh? My horoscope <laughs> is a Scorpio. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys are, like, related or something. Yeah, we're, we're related. <laughs> I don't really know how they work. But yeah. Excellent. They have a very cool adaptation as well. You want to see something cool? You ever been to a rave? Yeah. We got to turn off is the lights. Is it going to crab dance? Um, no. It's actually way cooler. But sh they should stay outside my house. That's fine. But you can take them outside. Uh, guys, think about being nicer to bugs, maybe. Sometime. Oh. It'd be really nice. How many times do they molt in their life? He will go through four molts before he's full size. Over four years. Ish. Whoa, the way she's holding it. Down. Yeah, she's crazy. Um, so, Why? scorpions. What do you mean? The way she, in a way. Oh, I am holding it. No, I you're doing a great job. Good. Okay, good. Um, scorpions react to UV light or fluoresce under UV oh. light. Not crazy. He's like... He's white, green. Where is he? There, oh, there he oh. is. Where is he? There he is. Does he know he's it's being his exposed? Rave trick. I don't think so. That's a good question. I feel like though. he does know. He doesn't like. I don't think it has to do with the light so much. Oh. He just doesn't like not having a cork bark. So oh. we'll put that back for him. Cool, huh? Oh so the theory is that they can that they can see each other like this. Um, and find each other in the wild easier. Also, like, but. are their eyes basically like with that? Yeah, light? they have a like bunch of eyes too. Actually, oh. I have a scorpion. He has um, a bunch of like eyes. Like a big one to show you. He How does. How many eyes? So if you look really close to him, you can really gotta get in there. <laughs> okay, but I'm just. So That's okay. Mm -hmm. He's got two eyes on the top of his head. Mm -hmm. They're very close together, and then he's got eyes on the sides of his head as well. Um, let me see if my scorpion plushie has them, so I can show you. Your your bark's back, Tortellini. A tortellini. So does tort so tortellini would eat Marty's, basically? Yeah, he would. Wow. Where is my scorpion plush? For Marty's. I don't know. You don't feed him Marty's, right? No, no, okay. he eats uh mealworms. <laughs> okay, okay. Imagine. That'd be crazy. That'd know. be wild. We just saw him. Okay, I don't know where that is, but trust me, they have eyes on the oh, okay. um, top Evelyn, of their head and on the sides of their heads. Thank you $15 donation. Chelsea, they were the $60 Thank donation. You Thank so you much. guys. Yeah, see, he's hiding. Oh. Bugs are way more scared of you than you are of them, obviously. Yeah. We look like giants to them. All right. What do you think? He's chill. No, well, he was not chill. He was not chilling. <laughs> But, um... Tortellini is notorious for being a little spicy. 
Puppy is a little calmer. Oh, but I got Puppy out yesterday, so I'm rotating him. Oh, okay, yeah. Give Puppy a rest. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, he's... They are arachnids like spiders, yes. Anything with the two-segmented body and eight legs is an arachnid. And I told her I don't like spiders, and she said, oh, we don't have spiders. Okay, you ready for something bigger? Bigger. Okay. <laughs> bigger than noodle bigger? No. Okay. <laughs> bigger than tortellini. Bigger than tortellini. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, I'm going to have us put gloves on again, actually. Barbara, they're saying. Yes. Barbara. 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 <laughs> it's a meme. It's a meme. Okay. I swear I know that her name is Barbara. Okay. Oh my like, God. You said whatever you want. Oh you didn't want to be rude, and you're like, um. <laughs> I didn't know. No, no. It's, it's Barbara. It's a meme. It's a funny meme. Barbara. Barbara. Yes, this is another bug. It's just a little bigger than Tortellini and a lot bigger than Marty. And he and they won't hurt. Nope. No. I don't know why I keep asking you this because you would definitely not let me. I just like the reassurance to know that I am in no danger. I would not roaches. put you in danger. That's terrible, Maya. Are we really? It's a roach. This is actually... Chat, why are you spoiling? Err... We're... <laughs> Guys? <laughs> um... Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Another bug. See, he's so small. This is Barbara. I don't think she's small. I think you're Look, only she's showing just a little the gal. top of her head. She's just a little girly. Oh my god. She's a little girly pop. Mm. Look, she's waving at you with her antennae. Mm -mm. So cute. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, my, 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 my. <laughs> She's just a little lady. Barbara is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Um, it's one of the larger cockroach species in the world. She is not flighted, so don't worry. She can't fly. Okay, that's good. Um, and she's very nice. And she likes to eat apples and oh. zucchini and sweet potato and uh, anything else that's rotting. There's a lot of cockroaches in LA. Did you know that? Yes, not these ones though. Oh, okay, they're these different. These ones only live in Madagascar. Okay, and so they're different. LA cockroaches and these and and Bar Bar Barbara. It, yeah. They're different. Different. Barbara's better. They're all good. I would argue. Really? That's a no from me, dog. Say that to her face. Say that to. Did you hear that, Barbara? Did you hear what he just said about you? She's on the move. She's so upset at you right now. She can't believe She's you said that. One of the biggest cockroaches she said, I've what ever the heck? seen. There are some big ones. Why would you say that? Oh no! Now I saw. Now bad. she's upset. And she's leaving. Oh, hon. Well, okay. So tell me why they're great. Because I thought cockroaches, you know, like the, you know, for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we associate. You want to hold her? Yeah. <laughs> she won't cr climb anywhere else. Only hand, Barbara. Only hand. Yeah. Don't go up my forearm. If you go up my forearm, we're gonna be in big trouble. That's nice. Come on. So people associate cockroaches with dirty places, right? And they're like, ew, yes. yuck, roach, yes. dirty. Yes. Um, cockroaches are just like the isopods. They break down organic matter and decaying matter. So they're only there to clean up dirty places mm. and eat it all and make it into soils that we can use to grow new things. So they're like janitors, earth janitors, um, <gasps> or like <gasps> firefighters. Feel her legs. She does have little legs. She's named Barbara because she's got those little spikes on her legs, mm. little barbs. Mm. They can climb glass. Yeah, I feel it. It's I cool. Feel it. It's cool. Don't hate her for cleaning up, unless you want to be mad at firefighters for being at the site of a fire. Very it's weird true. of you. She's cleaning. Well, when I see, it's the way she walks. It's like it's just the way she walks, but it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. I'm just not used to that feeling, you know? Well, I am okay. Um, well, Say something I nice about her. You're being so nice to me, Barbara, and therefore that's the nicest thing I could say about <laughs> you right now. Thank you for cleaning. Um, tell your other cockroach folks to clean. Because do you want more? Mm, I'll bring you more. What do you mean more? Like more cockroaches? Yeah, you Barbara's, have more. Barbara's family. Barbara, you have a family. <laughs> 
Harvey, I'm a family. <laughs> um, guys, I scream when I see cockroaches in person. Scream, scream. You're so... Oh, she's cleaning her antenna right now. Jada, imagine you were cleaning someone's house, and then the person walked in on you cleaning, and they screamed at you, and they're like, ew, you ugly, and then tried to step <laughs> on you. Imagine. No, but these cockroaches that I see, wow, that's a big Barbara family. family. No, oh, we have Maya. actually hundreds of them, but Maya. this is some of them. Hundreds? Yeah. God, Barbara, Maybe you've like been working. Wow, <laughs> Maya, let's uh, <laughs> slow it down over there. Do you guys have any questions about cockroaches? Thank you for the $25 donation. How come the cockroaches I see just run when they see me? I don't even scream sometimes. Because they're they can feel your bad vibes. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, she does not like me. I got to get away. <laughs> yeah, they like scatter. How long do they live? Two to three years. They literally scatter when they see me. And then because I see them scatter, I want to freak out. Beep, beep. How fast are they? Eh, pretty fast. But like, look how chill they're being. Mm. <laughs> Do they hiss? Yes, they're called Madagascar hissing cockroaches because they can make like a sound uh, by expelling air through their spiracles on their side. Um, why do you have them in Texas? For education. Yeah, we it teach is them good about to people. be educated. I will think twice the next time I see one. Yay. Um, do they bite people? No. Do they fly? No. Some do they lay do. eggs? Some no, do. you're going to hate this. They're ovoviviparous. Uh, which means that they have eggs inside and then okay. they keep the eggs inside until they're ready to hatch. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when they... <gasps> no, no, honey, are Barbara. you okay, baby? It's, did we feed? Do we, it's okay? Cockroaches Dude, are also are, notoriously hardy. They, like, do not die. Yeah, no, she's good. They do not... They're so, they're so, like, tough. They don't take fall damage? They don't take... <laughs> Did not take fall damage. What was I talking about before? I'm traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? What was I talking about? <laughs> they cannot survive nuclear explosion. I just said that. I just talked about this yesterday. Everyone's like, oh, eggs. They're ovoviviparous. So they keep their eggs inside their body until they're ready to hatch. And okay. then the eggs hatch like inside. So then they oh. crawl out. <laughs> they crawl out of the body. Like yeah. they're like, they're like the babies. The babies just crawl out of the body. Out. Yeah. Wow. That must hurt. No. Um, I'm not sure. I don't. Okay. I don't think I'm not sure. That's really um, terrible. And how many babies like per, like usually estimated? Inside? I think it's a lot. I that's think it's like well, that's so bad. I think it's like twenty. 20 yeah, like ten or 20. 20 babies just coming out. Just little twenty baby caught. That's so they give birth. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sort of. I'm itchy. <laughs> <laughs> um sorry they cannot survive like a nuclear blast the, the the blast if you like nuked my hand right now like they all di die. all of us die okay so but where did they get that myth from they can they? withstand higher levels of radiation than oh. we can so post nuclear blast they can live in places with really high levels of radiation oh, okay. where we would die but it's not the blast itself they can't be like blasted you know okay. what i mean yeah. Do you want to hold all of them? Mm -mm, Are you mm -mm, sure? No, what about yeah. like two? No, like that. I think that's my limit. <laughs> like, I, even though you've told, like, uh, even though you've told me how great they are, they haven't cleaning, even moved though. I know, Look, but it's it. just like it's the way their even antennas are moving. There's something about them, you know. And I promise, I won't hurt any of you guys when I see them, and I'll try not to break their ears. It's just, I will keep my house clean, and I will not need your services. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so that's sorry. Okay, that's I know. Okay. I'm so. I do feel bad. I feel bad. It's a limit. She uh, gets it. You know. I she get gets it. it all the time. I promise. I won't hurt them. I just don't want their services. Guys, say hi house. to Barbara. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you guys think of Barbara? You like her? <laughs> Unemployed. Um, as a sympathetic giant thing for the twenty five dollars to charity thank you so much thank you so much cool i'm a fan Aww. she's waving kind of cute ta -ta -ta. guys my my overall message is for bugs no it's okay I won't. <laughs> um my main message for bugs is just like try to be kind of bugs be curious yeah. about bugs at least we would perish without bugs like okay. our we could not live on this planet without them um we need them to grow food we need them to have viable soil um, we need them for every single food web on the planet. If you like birds, you know how many birds only eat bugs, bats, 
um what mammals eats cockroaches um birds would eat them mammals okay. would eat them lots of okay. things so many things eat bugs okay bugs are so important for all animals yes. ever so they're very important I okay just like okay yeah Okay. What are the antenna for? A lot of bugs use antenna for tasting, actually. Oh. Because they don't have taste buds so like we do. they're trying to taste the air right now. Yeah, and just feeling around. Mm. Just checking out her surroundings. Okay. She's she's aware. She's aware. Barbara Stan. Wahoo. They're all important. They're yeah. all important. Just like, why the gloves? I'm not sure. Oh, because the legs are sharp a little, maybe? I'm not really sure. Why the gloves? Um, they're just kind of sensitive. Oh, Same with, kind of like Georgie. Oh, Georgie. Okay, so we're protecting them. I thought Maya was protecting me. No, they can't hurt you. <laughs> That's why. Here it goes. You My can take your hands, gloves off, Janet. You know when your hands get sweaty and you wear gloves? You can take them off. It's really gross in here. Yeah, I agree. I sweated. I sweated. Okay. That being said, Cockroaches can carry disease. Some people can be allergic to cockroaches as well. Indigo, thank you for the $50. It is moist um, in here. Yum. Do you see? It's disgusting. You're going to take my moist hand. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for um, the $50. So even though I'm saying, like, be kind to bugs, be curious about bugs, we don't necessarily want to cohabit with all bugs, right? Um, yes. But there are things that you can do to avoid having cockroaches in your house, like Janet said, um, to avoid having food out, you know, and available to them because they'll yes. think that they need to go down, go out there and, and break it down, right? Yes. So, yeah. Throw your food away when you're done with them. Yeah. Or else you'll get fruit flies, too. I heard that if you have a shellfish allergy, you al you're also allergic to cockroaches. I haven't heard that. But oh. if you have a shellfish allergy and you're allergic to, like, shrimp, if you ate an isopod, you would be allergic to the isopod. That's horrible to think about, to, yeah. eat, an, to eat a Marty. Yeah, because Marty's so sweet and that'd be right. so sad. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. It's definitely. Guys, you completed the, I think this was your the hardest part of it your journey. It was. Okay, the cockroach <laughs> was the hardest for me. Noodle was great. Georgie, okay. obviously amazing. Tortellini. Toast. Toast. You love toast. Toast was my favorite. Yeah. Um, The cockroach was the toughest for me. Even okay. Marty's were fine. A little disturbing to see so many. That's fair. Um, just the cockroaches for me. It might take some time, but I could see myself coming around. Okay. I believe okay. in it. Yeah. We are going to switch to the backpack and we're going to go do a tour of everything outside. <gasps> I'm so maybe, outside. Some <laughs> <laughs> maybe some animals that are a little less scary. Um, noodles. Guys, what was your favorite in here? Who'd you like meeting? Who'd you like learning about? What'd you think? Yeah, chat. What's your favorite? What, Georgie, Noodle, Barbara? Barb, Noodle. Toast. Oh, noodle. lots of noodles. Toast. Oh. Georgie. Toast. Lots I saw toast. a few Martys. A few Martys. The Mar Marty is named after the uh, the zebra in Madagascar because they're zebra isopods. <laughs> That's why their names are Marty. I just love that it's the name is Marty, but there's like so many of them. And Marty they're Party. all Marty. Marty Party. It's so informative. It really does help to learn why they're important to this world yeah. too. Cause like to most people like me, like I just see all bugs the same. Like they're just bugs. Yay. And I don't see like the point. Bugs. Yay. And I don't see like the point of them. Okay. All right. Swampy. Um, you can take this headset off. Okay. It'll just be this mic. Oh. Cool. Yay. Yay. We're swapping chat. Don't you worry. Oh, swaparoo. Why do people not like them, though? Um, for me, I personally get, like, freaked out when I feel things crawling on me. Yeah. Like, it happened to me as a kid, like, just randomly feeling like, oh, it must be a hair. And then I'll look down and it's an actual bug crawling on me. <laughs> and it's just, like, something like that. And so I just, like, freak out with bugs because of That's it. That's fair. But it can be alarming. And People then no one on. teaches you why they're harmless or anything. So you just assume the worst. Here's a phone oh. Oh, for you. Here's thanks. your chat. Thanks. Oh I strap God. it on my arm. You can hold oh it. Oh, my or strap God. It on Wait, this is amazing. <laughs> can I show chat how awesome this is? Yeah. You chat, you're going on a field trip. Strap this. Wait, this is genius. <laughs> like, I need this. Yeah, I could not IRL without them. Okay, so I'm going to strap you guys hi chat. chat you're going for a ride we're going okay I'm... all right okay. woo field trip 
Ah, thank you for the hundred dollars, KWB. Thank you so much. I was gonna say, how do we reach chat and boom? There they are. Um, let's start. Okay. Let's start with the parrots, shall we? Let's go, chat. You guys want to meet some parrots? Yes. All right. Yeah, I'll grab some. Let me grab Puppies. keys really fast. Hold. <laughs> So do any of the animals hang out here? Uh, sometimes the goats. The goats? On the ground. And all, the... all the poop or? Goat poop. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until you pointed that out. I thought that was rocks. <laughs> Good to know that I've been stepping in goat poop. That's awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Yeehaw Land, Yeehaw. Janet. I really have been loving Austin, even though it's like officially day one so far. You came here There's just and so like much flat land too and green. Yeah, it's like the only nice time of year. <laughs> you came at a great time. In a month, it's gonna be miserable here. I thought it was gonna be really, really hot. It's gonna so be I, so I bad. So I dressed in like short sleeves. It short. was hot yesterday for Pokey Club. Yeah, it was like ninety degrees. Yeah, so I came like super prepared, and then when I got out the hotel, I was freaking freezing yeah it's better now though it's really nice outside guys um did you guys hear that bird by chance yeah <laughs> that's where we're going first oh okay. uh, to mic check oh people are saying my mic is cutting out should i put it more higher or... yeah maybe uh maybe put it like there here mm -hmm. okay how is this chat better does it hurt your ears? You okay? You guys were just far from me. Yeah, it should be fine. Ramp, ramp, better. better. Okay, Wahoo. good. Okay, just let me know. Okay, parrot enclosure. We have four parrots. Um, they all. So one of them was They're supposed talking. to. Right they yeah, both I hear talk. Them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of them was supposed to be in a breeding program at a zoo, and she was never successful in that program, so she got booted. Um, and then we have three that were surrendered pets. That's so sad that they just get booted. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people, for the parrots, I'll explain while we're in there. Mm -hmm. but a lot of people think they want parrots as pets, and they're like, a lot. <laughs> they're a lot to have as a pet, and they don't really work out for a lot of people. So we will talk about that. <laughs> One of the reasons is because they're loud. <laughs> they are so loud. Yeah. The siren is so graciously showing you. And the special thanks. I love that. Siren. Hello. Hello. Siren. Maya. What are you doing? Maya. Oh, Maya. she knows your name, Maya? Or is she saying no. Maya? I don't think she knows her name. Siren. Here she comes. You sound like a baby. Come say hi. Here, if you want to give Siren this almond, you can just hold it like that and hand it to her. For you! Hey, here you go! That's Got it! Hi, Silas! Why are you so excited? So, this is a blue fronted Amazon. This is the one that was in a breeding program at a zoo. Um, that's an almond, if you guys have ever seen an almond in shell. I have never seen yeah, an almond weird, in shell. Yeah, it's weird, huh? She's eating an almond. Um, <laughs> You could, that you have a lot, yeah, there's a lot going on. KWB, thank you for the 100 donations. Thank you thank so you. much. And photo, thank you for the 10. Thank you. Oh, Silas. Siren. Siren. Mm -hmm. Hi, Siren. Does she know her name? Can you name? say hello? Yeah, she does, yeah. Oh. Siren, can you say hello? Are you busy? Oh, yeah, she wants her all <laughs> So, Blue Friends at Amazon, these guys uh, are from the Amazon rainforest, obviously, Amazon. Oh, an almond! Yay! <laughs> she litters. She, she litters. She does litter. <laughs> um, but, so, for Siren, and again, she's demonstrating great. Parrots are super loud. Mm -hmm. um, Siren's constantly talking. It's probably how she got her name. She came with her name. Mm. Um, so, they're very, very loud, like... Hearing loss loud, like they'll damage your hearing over time. Um, it also hurts because they'll scream at like 130 decibels. Oh my god. Um, and then she can chew through wood, she can 
break skin, she can bite super hard, and then she lives, you know how long they live? Like, like 100 years, right? Like 50 to 60 oh, for them. Oh, okay. Those guys live 60 to 70, though, so, oh so close. Cutie, thank you for the raid! Oh my god! Thank you for the raid, cutie! Master Baker so raid! Much. Thank you! Hi! That's awesome. <laughs> what do you think? Guys, we're at the sanctuary, um, Alvea's sanctuary with Janet, teaching her about the animals. You guys are meeting the animals. I'm seeing so many new animals for the first time. Like, this is the first parrot I've ever seen in really? person. Oh my yeah. god, how fun! Yeah, I'm from Say, like, what do you think Toronto? about that? Yeah. Um, Siren does like to sing. She sings Happy Birthday, or the birthday song, but she only says birthday. <laughs> you sing Happy Birthday? Happy birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday. That was really bad. Can you, can you sing happy birthday? What are you doing? Can you sing, oh. Can you sing happy birthday? Birthday. Birthday. Okay, no one looks a lot better than that. Birthday to you. Is that, she like pets? Um, if you put your, you know what, let's pet this bird. Okay, she's being weird right now. Oh, she's I'm gonna sorry. scream because we're not paying attention to her heads up. Oh. This is Mia. Hi, Mia. Mia. If you kind of go like this and she puts her head down, then you can pet the top of her head. Maybe not. Top. No. She's, yeah, no. It's all good. <laughs> you can give her a pistachio, though. Do you want your food? Here you go. Thank you. Here you go. What's and pistache. Name? Mia, what the heck? Mia. Mia. You don't want a pistache? Do you want an almond? Okay. Almond, Switch. Maybe? Maybe Real. Almond? <laughs> Mia, oh god. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to a parrot in your house? Like the parrot screams like a child. No. Okay. okay, Mia, okay, weird. Mia, yes. Mia does is particular. particular. She likes men. Oh. Which is actually really fake of her. Hey, Mia. She's <laughs> If you want this almond girl, you look hot. Hey. <laughs> she sees right through me. She sees right through me. She sees right through me. She sees. Mia, <laughs> what do you think? Hold on. Right. Well, that's Mia. I um, have a... Mia is a Congo hey. African gray. You want this? Okay, yeah, she's, yeah, she's not falling for it. What the heck? <laughs> Um, <laughs> these birds are endangered in the wild, one, uh, because of the pet trade, so they'll get captured out of the wild to be sold in the pet trade, and then also habitat loss. Ha! Huh. You're very stoic today. Siren, Sa Siren so. is so funny. Siren? Siren reminds me of, like, a kindergartner that is telling you about their day constantly, yeah. and she, yeah. they don't care who's listening. It is. It's like having a kindergartner yeah. for 60 years for 60 that years. chews through wood That's crazy. and damages your hearing. Are you sure, Mia? Okay. Oh, it's so right. funny. What's that cute? Are these guys bonded? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's... Someone make a remix of that. <laughs> um, so these are the macaws. You'll want to keep a little bit of distance from oh, them. Oh, I see. Um, okay. Because they can bite super hard. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> They can bite super duper hard. But do they want food? I love how they're coming near you because they know. They know. They're like, she's here. Can I give them this? You have, yeah, let me give it oh. to them because I don't trust them. Oh. Here you go. For you. For you. <gasps> as long as we're looking at her, she stops. It's yeah, so she just wants us to look at her. <laughs> uh. <So> they, <laughs> she laughing? Yeah. Wait, I love her. I love that, you know. Get your attention. <laughs> Get your attention. These are the macaws. This is Miley. She's a Catalina macaw. And Tico is a blue and gold macaw. Are they in love? They are pair bonded, and they're both Aww. female. So they're, they're gauge. Um, Tico was dropped off in a box outside of a humane society. So someone got her as a pet and then uh, decided they couldn't have her. And then Miley was a pet surrender as well. No. Um, macaws have really, really strong beaks. Uh, they can easily break skin and they can also easily break bones yeah um and chew through wood so this platform that we have here yeah. is a like two by two foot wood platform 
We had the same one up there. Do you see that one? Oh my god. That's what they did to that platform in like but do, do they like chewing through it? Yeah. Just like it feels good on their Yeah, they, they're so, constantly okay. chewing. Okay. They, they will be very destructive inside a house. And these guys live sixty to seventy years. I'm surprised people have these as pets. You really shouldn't. It, yeah, I don't really, think they should be I don't have anything more for you. Sorry, man. <laughs> See, she's really? gonna show oh, you she's how she gonna choose through oh, wood. Oh wow! That's nice, Smiley. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> they, do they swallow the wood, or they just no, like to bite it? Nibble. They're just chewing it. They just for you know, fun. They okay. Can. Yeah. These are also well. This is a bird that's native to Brazil. It was a bite attempt. Oh my god! Um, that bird is a hybrid, so she was bred in captivity for the oh, pet trade. Yeah. That was her explosion sound effect. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She'll do the like whistle, like the falling whistle, like. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh my god, what happened to the part? Mia, what happened to the fall? Do they understand us? They understand speech well, right? Yeah, yeah they, okay. they love they love being talked to, they love music. Uh, oh my god. Tico loves music sometimes. Tico. Do you want to do a little dancing or do you want to bite me? Yes, maybe dancing. maybe we do a little dancing. Tico Anky. Okay, let's see. You wanna dance? You like Beyonce? What do you think? Some music? Chico! Mm -hmm. Go Chico! Go Chico! <laughs> Go Chico! <laughs> I love that! Yeah, Chico! <laughs> okay, a little oh, spice in there. <laughs> Wait, you oh, look God. so happy! <laughs> Woohoo! Good girl! <laughs> the head was <laughs> bad. Good oh, girl! Oh, oh, God. God. Good water. You guys pooped by the car. Sorry. Oh. Um, also, these birds are capable of flight, but have never flown because they've always lived in captivity. Oh, Tico okay. actually has in the past, but Miley has never. So oh, they're, yeah. we're teaching them how to fly. Right oh, now. that's so sweet that you can teach mm -hmm. like bird. Yeah, how to these fly. two uh, like turf things. We just move them further and further apart. Um, oh, for the I care see. Stuff. Like and so they apart. have to. They have to jump. Okay. I'm gonna learn how to how to Wait, fly. That's so good because I saw her like do her wings a little bit. Yeah. What does that mean when they rub their head on it? Just like she's chewing good. wood again. Oh. So <laughs> what she does? This is what Siren and Mia have done to the door frame. Um, oh my god. You know, just chewing a little wood. Sirens, do you want to try a birthday again? Can you sing happy birthday? Happy birthday. Can you sing happy birthday? <laughs> That's pretty good. Siren is a yapper. Yeah, she, she is. She yaps. She yaps. Here, I love that. Do you wanna? Do you wanna talk to her? You got anything to say? Hello. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, so oh, nice. So nice. <laughs> Imagine if she screamed in the mic just <laughs> then and there. You would be happy. What are you saying? What do you think? What do you mean? <laughs> She's so cute. She's growing on me. Are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> she sounds like a baby. For some cry. I think she probably did live with like a baby before because oh, she does do a pretty crazy baby cry. Yeah. She sounds like a baby. Are you giggling? What's so funny? That's funny. That's funny. Like she giggles like a baby. Yeah. Mr. K. Maddow, thank you for the hundred dollar donation. Whispers, thank you for the fifty dollar donation. Thank you guys. You're I'm so proud. It was so nice. <laughs> She's so happy. Thank you guys, truly. All right, with the parrots, Siren is very funny, and she's funny in small doses, but, like, imagine in your house, and, like, you have to take a Zoom call, and Siren's oh, over there just, like, no, no, talk, no. chatting it up, screaming because you're not looking at her. I would be really devastated if yeah. she bit through my, my wood stuff. That, like too. My desk and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Or, like... Tico, the, the blue and gold macaw. There was a blue and They're gold macaw. So cute together. I know they are. There was a blue and gold macaw in Florida that ate a toddler's finger 
like it was at a restaurant and there's a toddler like sitting at a table and the blue and gold macaw flew down it was a parrot themed restaurant stupid oh and the parrot God. flew down and like took the kid's finger off and then ate it yeah they're oh. like really dangerous people don't know that they're that dangerous yeah yeah you uh siren's i don't know what she's doing in there siren what are you doing I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? Hi, Minnie. What were you doing? <laughs> we missed you. Oh, you're back. Hi, Hi welcome back, uh -oh. sweetie. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Hi. A car. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. I love the giggle laughter. <laughs> I love Mia's random, like, <laughs> yeah. Mia's really good at sound effects. She can do like like microwaves and like backup beepers and, and other birds. Siren just yaps all day. <laughs> She's just a yapper. Say, I'm a yapper. I'm a yapper. She tries. Yeah, that's, that's she said, good. oh my god. <laughs> do you know how to say, oh my god? Okay. Do you guys have any questions about the parrots? Before we go, just don't, just don't yes. get a parrot. Yeah. Get it like a dog or like a cat. A dog is a lot of work That'd too. Cool. Cats Mia. are awesome. Do you have any pets, pets, Maya, or just these guys? I have two dogs. Two dogs. Yeah, and then I also have um, like goats here. But they don't have <laughs> oh, you're you're gonna be okay, Siren. You're gonna be okay. Siren, just because we're not facing you doesn't mean you need to scream. <laughs> I know. We <laughs> What's wrong with Siren's back feathers? Good question. Um, Siren, can you show them? Okay, yes. Siren, come here. Can you spin? Can you spin? Her back feathers, um, her tail feathers she's missing. Can you spin? Because she uh, probably had like a pelvic injury before, so they're permanently missing and they won't go back. And so she's not capable of flying. Can you spin? Um, because she has no brakes. Those are their brakes in the sky to slow down. Um, and she doesn't have this. So. What are you feeding her, by the way? Are they sunflower, sunflower seeds? seeds? Okay. Hi, Birdie. She cracks that so fast. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's like a whole... This is a, a whole... whole actually, you want to get up close and show them? They're yeah, really she... handy with their beaks. It's kind of cool. This is like a Just whole sunflower one snack. seed. I shell. take a bit. Can you show them how fast? Good job. Done. <laughs> <laughs> she I just missed that you after. I mean, she's so endearing. Pretty Schwinn, cool. they were the fifty dollar dodo, by the way. And Thank Mr. you so much. And droops a lot. They're the twenty five. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mia's got a lot of explosions today. Mia didn't want to talk to me today. Cause I'm not a man. <laughs> yeah. Siren <laughs> likes women more than men, I think. Um, but yeah, Mia really Bye. likes men. Goodbye, Bye. parrots. Does Siren get sad when we leave? Does she she, cry? Uh, she might scream at us. <laughs> Jenkins! Right. Can they all fly? Mia is really the only one that's. Um, I would love to hear quiet. your thoughts or opinions about owning chickens. Is it difficult? Do you think most people shouldn't? Because, like, down the line, I would want to own chickens. Yeah. No, totally. I think that's awesome. I want um, chickens. I think having chickens in your backyard and like yeah. eating your own eggs Obviously, is an awesome, I would, like, like, sustainable way to background in a place, but you know, I don't know what goes into it. So <laughs> this is years and years ahead. Hi, chickens! No, I think it's a super sustainable way to eat animal protein. Hi. Excuse me. Hi, chickens! Siren, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. Oh my god. These are the chickens. Um, we have three of them. This is Oliver, and this is Henrique, and that's Nugget. I'm sorry I don't have treats for you guys. Do they like pets? Do you can try to touch him, but he'll probably just leave. <laughs> I love his Isn't color. He pretty? Is so pretty. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he looks like a. I don't know, is is like it? Oil do different something. chickens have different like? breeds kinds. yes like, mm -hmm. okay. um so she's an americana. americana she's half brahma half sapin and he is an olive egger oh rooster. that's why wow. oh good job nice. oh okay. <laughs> Sweet. A little eager there. okay thank you <laughs> he's like trembling clumsy, up there maybe. a little clumsy um hey, oliver's my favorite already yeah he's cool he's so you can come cute. pet him over here if you want now that he's up here um, sometimes he likes being pet, like, in his fluffy parts. 
That's nice, Oliver. <laughs> so we have the chickens uh, to teach people about food labels primarily. Oh my god, siren. <laughs> Imagine a Zoom call. Like your, your neighbors are calling the police. Oliver's upset. He's like, bro, why do I live? Why is my neighbor like this? <laughs> Um, yes, the chickens are rescues as well. Uh, Nugget came from a flock in California where they were bullying her so she couldn't live with other chickens in there anymore. Oliver came from a reject... Oh, that's so nice. Oliver came from a reject rooster cage in Texas. How could you be a reject? Um, I would take you home. Yeah, he's, it was really sad. He was in like a shitty little wire cage with like without food and water. And then that was... Um, Henrique was actually just from a neighbor to add on to our flock. Oh my gosh. What's the run chicken thing in there? That's their dog door, so oh, they they go in at night. Yeah. They go in at okay. Siren. <laughs> How do you get them in there? Like, what if they're like rebelling? They're like, no. They go in on their own every oh, night without fail. Nice. Yeah. Um, so we have the chickens to teach people about food labels, guys. If you are in the U.S. and you're looking for the best way to buy eggs in a grocery store, you want to look for pasture raised certified humane eggs. Pasture um, raised. That's the best label for animal welfare. Yes. Flappy Hi. bird. Hi, babies. So you guys get eggs. You have eggs here. Yes, they lay eggs pretty much every day. You hear that beeping? Yeah, what is that? That's Mia. <laughs> Isn't that cool? She sounds like an alarm. I know. Like, oh, and they eat, like, just vegetables, like zucchini. Yeah, they eat veggies oh, and special no chicken eating. scratch. Oh, my God. They actually, I want to own guys, chicken guys, so guys, bad. Guys, 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 no, 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 no. They do get to go on walks often, so they, like, oh, want to nice. leave, but they'll get let out later. I want chickens. You should get them. They're really fun. Chickens is Siren. like a, oh my God. a goal of mine. To have. Siren, we're leaving. Bye, Siren. <laughs> <laughs> we're going. I'll come later. I'll come down here later. <laughs> Casey, not Tracy. They were the 25 donation, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, She's what do you do with the shouting eggs? shouting at us as we walk away. <laughs> no. We have crows here and foxes that both eat eggs, scrambled eggs. So oh. our other animals eat our chicken eggs. Okay, that's good. She is <laughs> so Where you bad. going? <laughs> Where you going? Okay, this is the pasture. So you'll meet Stompy in here. Exciting. Stompy! She, Stompy was right here when I came Yeah, by. where is he now? He was right here. Stompy. Oh, I see a baby cow. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, it's time. <gasps> Winnie. <laughs> there is she that is. you, Winnie? Winnie, I see you on, on my screen all the time. Someone asked what we do with the birds for rainstorms. Um, all of our animals have inside options. The ones that are not native to Texas have climate controlled options as well. So our parrots have AC um, and heating, and they can go inside if it's raining if they choose to do that. Oh, I see. If it's really bad, we'll lock them inside. This is amazing, Maya. Really? I've never <laughs> been able, I've never seen animals close up to. That is so fun. I'm so happy for you. This is awesome. Winnie the Moo. Winnie. I have a fan to introduce you to. Winnie. <laughs> She's, don't lick the inside of your nose. It's gross. Boogers. <laughs> 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 this is Winnie the Moo. Winnie. She's a baby cow. She's not really a baby. She's she just had her second birthday party, so she's no. She's years still old. a baby. <laughs> still a baby cow. Here, I'll get you a brush. She likes being brushed. Oh yes, Winnie. I, I have nothing for you. I love you, Winnie. <laughs> it's just a brush. Come here. So how do you brush? How do you brush? Can I see you do um, it first? Yeah, her favorite okay. spot to be brushed is under her chin here. Oh, oh, it's simply just brush. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Winnie. Mm. So Winnie, we got from a beef operation in Oklahoma. Um, no. Oh, she, no baby. Yeah. Uh, so she was gonna be slaughtered for beef. No. At about a year You're old. You're just a baby. I know. But she just had her second birthday party here, March twenty second. She's in Aries. <laughs> so now she lives here, and she oh. teaches people about the beef industry. Um, so kind of like the chickens oh. with cows. Cows produce methane. Have you heard about like cows burping and farting? greenhouse gas uh no so they okay. are ruminants and a byproduct of them digesting is methane which is a greenhouse gas so she burps and farts <laughs> something that actually damages our climate and oh it's like God. an actual climate 
climate disaster. Um, and we have so many cattle on the planet to meet our demand for beef um, that it's affecting our global climate. So, oh my God, your farms <laughs> are affecting our global yeah, climate. It's really crazy. So, if you guys want to start somewhere, don't know where to start for how to reduce your environmental impact, um, you don't have to be vegan all, all of a sudden. That's really hard. Do you want a treat? I don't think you like these, do you? I don't think you. What is? Oh wait. You don't. I don't think you want that. Ew. <laughs> if you wanna, if you don't know where to start, eating a little less beef. I am shocked she she likes those. I didn't know you liked those. Winnie, I have good news. Sorry. I don't care for steak. <laughs> if you don't know where to start, eat less beef. It's, it's much better yeah. for the environment. The emissions from something like poultry, chicken, are are w dude. Are way lower than beef. Also, for animal welfare, then you're not eating Winnie. So she's a Red Angus beef cow. Hello, those are for the don. Okay, they're for the donkeys. You can't eat all of them. Winnie. Winnie, she keeps coming to you. Winnie, love me. I love you. Pay attention to me. I've been brushing you. Winnie, what about me? Oh God. Oh God. My. Winnie, please. Winnie. Sorry, microphone. It's my first time touching a horse. That's Ace. Hi. He's annoying. Okay, all right, I gotta. Uh, all right, all right, I'm out. Watch your feet. Don't get stepped on. Winnie, I'm literally putting it away. It's not for you. I don't know what to tell you. Sweet. Oh, you're sweet. Oh, you're sweet. I don't have it anymore. Oh, you're so Thanks. sweet. It's my first time touching a horse and a cow. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> I've never touched any before. <laughs> so, Red Angus... I can't believe um, you're real. <laughs> I can't believe you're real. Like, <laughs> red Angus can't... beef is marketed the same as, like, Angus beef in the grocery store. So it's either this, like a red cow, or black Angus beef, which is a black cow. Angus beef. Okay. That looks kind of the same, but is slightly larger. So what you're saying is, don't buy. This is your right. Angus beef. This, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. No. Hello. No. What do you think, Winnie? If you brush under her neck here, like, yeah. pretty hard, oh. she likes it. Oh, oh you wanted it harder, Dad. So I was <laughs> gentle earlier. I was scared. Oh, that's what it is. Are you guys best buddies or something? Um, no, he kind of bullies her. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of mean. Drama! No, no drama. Friends. Friends. What did he do to her? He <laughs> nipped at her ear. Winnie, does he bully you? I'm going to start locking you in the round pen for collabs, dude. Have you ever um, ride on the horse, Winnie? Yeah, I've actually, I've had him since I was 12. <laughs> so I, I grew up riding him. Yeah. That's why he's so freaking clean. Huh. So mind your own business. I'm your business and I love you. <laughs> oh my god, the ball's so close today. Janet, you're gonna love this. What's this ball? For you. The cover's a little big. Ooh. She plays in slow mo. <laughs> Here, switch mics around. Oh. Is my mic still? I don't know what it's doing now. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh, my mic. Oh. Oh, she likes you. You like me? <laughs> Perfect, because I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I'll swear before. Wait, you guys have matching hair. <laughs> I know. It's cute. You look good? Look, she's got like a, a bang. 
Winnie Bang. Winnie Bang. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because I love you. I do. Yay, Winnie friends. Winnie, I love you. Seriously. Yeah, she's a good cow. Oh my god. It's her face. Yeah. She's just the baby is baby girl. She's so baby girl. She is. She's so baby girl. Queen. Or queen. You're so baby girl. Another thing to remember with animal products, because Winnie really was, she was on a beef farm, like she was going to be yeah. beef, slaughtered for beef. Um, one of the other like crazy sad things to think about, not to kill the vibe, but try really, really, really hard not to waste animal products, right? Like if Winnie ended up being a bunch of burgers and like, you know, you eat half At a burger and throw mindful. it away. Yeah, yeah. it's really, uh, it's be really mindful. sad, both for the environment and for the animals. So try not to waste animal products if you're going to consume them. Yeah. Horse? Hi, Ace. Again. I love how clingy he is to you. Maya! Winnie is so head empty. I'm sorry, but she's just like there. I love head empty, as you can tell. <laughs> There's something so sweet about it. Yes. What are you even Winnie's eating about? The best couple days. <laughs> she's just getting yeah. brushed. Lots and of treats. She uh, mm. comes to a You're drooling. <laughs> Her Ooh. recall is a cowbell. Cowbell. Oh, and she listens well? Yeah. Oh, good girl. Um, she's, she'll walk in a halter. So she'd go for walks. She streams once a week. <laughs> she has a harness that goes around her and a stream phone that goes here. Wait, I love that. So on Winnie Wednesdays, Winnie it's Wednesday. like a cow POV on the a Sanctuary POV. channel. It's pretty sick. And the... Uh, does much happen, <laughs> Winnie? Yeah, you can watch her internal thoughts. You can watch her dialogue. You can watch her walk her around dialogue. And, and what she's thinking about, what she's doing. Maya, mic Do check now. This, Mike? What's going on? It's just cutting it out, and it was hers, and I was doing the same thing. Whoa. Should I turn it off and back on again? Some days I feel like Winnie, other days I feel like Ace. <laughs> That's so funny. God. Okay, I'm gonna keep this little stupid thing sticking out. Try that. Oh, Winnie. Where's Stompy? I don't know, I just saw Stompy. Chat, though. bird check. Pasture scan. Oh, did somebody fart, or was that it's someone's her tongue? Burping. Oh like wow. That's, mm. that's the the methane. Oh, baby. that's destroying the ozone layer. Yeah. Watch that your toes. Was Don't gay. get stepped on by the cow. Oh. You are wearing good shoes, but yes. just heads up. Hi, baby. Oh, she loves me. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you love you me. Move the horse out of the way. Hey, bud. Oh, Winnie. Yeah. Oh, Winnie. Are you a cuddle bug? Are you a cuddle bug? I knew you were. I knew you were. I could tell. I could tell we would click. I could tell. Not to sound creepy. But I love you. <laughs> pa pasture scan. What is what, this bulge scan? up here? Uh, just a it's just, just yeah. Do all cows have that? Not all of them have, like... This much hair sticking up. I feel yeah, like she's got like, like she's so quite like, a do. She's so stylish with your long lashes. Oh, I see Amy. Stompy. Oh, there he You see him? I'm gonna put the brush back. Okay, there's mud over there. Sorry. It's okay. <whistles> when did you miss me? Here it comes. Did you miss me? Here we go. Chicken. Stompy. Hi, Ace. Hi, Mike. You want to give Stompy a bath? <gasps> yes. Chicken. Oh, Amy, recall. It takes him some time sometimes, you know. Ace want Maya oh God, again. <laughs> oh, Ace please. love Maya. Just <laughs> <laughs> stomp your back. Stomp 
be back. Okay, well, while he comes up here, Stompy is an emu. Oh, I um, was calling Stompy an ostrich. ostrich uh, they are the related. Sea. Okay. But ostriches are African birds and they're much larger. Oh. Emus are Australian birds. Wow. But they're both ratites, they're non flighted, large land birds. There he comes. Here he goes, Stompy. He's <gasps> arrived. He's arriving. Come here, chicken. Hi, Stompy, I saw you earlier. Yes, he can run 30 miles an hour. That is true. I that love how true. he's taking his time. Yeah, he's, you know, he does his thing. <laughs> Stompy, what do you think, bird? So Stompy uh, came from a zoo in California. His mom didn't sit on his clutch of eggs, so he oh. had to be incubated by people. That's, like, really dramatic. Well, who, 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 um, who are you upset with? Not me, the Shirley. Cow. Oh. Yeah, she, he doesn't. He doesn't really fuck with the cow. Oh, but when you mean well, don't look at the, don't look. <gasps> <laughs> you just stop them to, you just stop the bee. That's unnecessary. <laughs> um, Stompy is an emu. I already said that. Um, this is an Australian bird. They're very fast. They're very cute. Stompy's very cuddly and nice. You can pet him. Um, yeah. Don't look at the cow. Don't look at the cow. It's okay. It's okay. You're good. No looky cow. No, don't look at the cow. Don't look. Don't look over my shoulder. No, don't, <laughs> no, no. Don't look at the. That's nice. Don't look at the cow. Here, he'll give you a hug if you put his head over your shoulder. Oh. That's nice, Snoppy. Oh. Don't just look at Winnie when you're. Yeah, she's just her. like I can Stop. tell. Give her actual hug. Huggy. Okay. He's locked in. Oh, yeah. He just wants to. <laughs> Stompy. He wants to look at Stompy. Hello. Um, emu meat was really popular up until about the 90s as a red meat alternative. No. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, she's so close. Winnie is uh, really. She has no idea. She playing no a dangerous idea. game right now. Winnie, careful. Um, you know, let's <laughs> back up the beef, guys. <laughs> Why can't we be friends? Why can't yeah, we? We might just have to. She's look. so. He's so pretty. I just noticed. Yeah, the, like, he blue. is pretty. See, most people are really oh, scared of him. I appreciate that you're not. Oh, you might have to let him eyes. go to Winnie and have Winnie move him away before. It, yeah. Like, like just. That was. That's it. He'll oh, okay. So he doesn't actually fight. Fight. No, he just runs at him and you know. Okay. Packs him sometimes. Yummy. Oh, so Stompy's fine with Ace, but not Winnie. Yes, Stompy loves Ace. <laughs> Stompy Bat? Ace? Always, somehow. Hi, sweetie. Oh. Oops, sorry. Here you go. Oh, and I could just. Uh, yeah, all you can over. just water him. Like, does that feel good? <laughs> Here, I'll turn it up. Does a that feel good? Where you where you where, where you going? Hold your thumb and like kind of spray it like it's raining. Oh, like upwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wait, thumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stompy bath. Stompy, where you going? I can't reach you to that far. <laughs> oh, I'll give you more hose. Emus love. You love, you Fun love fact. your bath. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Chat, remember to water your emus. Get your so feet, please. Hey, bird. Please God, please. I would hate if someone did this to me in real life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, "What are you doing?" Do you guys have any questions about emus while Janet is giving Stompy his spa day? Oh, let me get in there, in their feathers. Does Stompy lay eggs? Uh, no, Stompy's male, so <laughs> he will not be laying eggs. Does he like his face watered? No, just oh, the rest oh, of his oops, body. Sorry. Okay. No, you're good. Sorry, Stompy. How big a brain? Stompy's brain is 0.06% of his body mass. Oh, my God. Um, but he's really good at being oh. an emu. Stompy, I don't want to get your face, but like you're acting like you want it. What do they eat? Um, so, a lot of things. In the wild, they'll eat, you can't go through the fence, dude. Um, in the wild, they'll eat like small lizards um, and bugs and pretty much everything, and they'll graze and plants. 
in captivity or under human care, Stompy eats a formulated pellet. So like grain, emu grain. Uh, he used to be really good about eating produce, but now he doesn't really care about it. Oh, How strong can they kick? Super, super hard. Um, they can, emus can like disembowel. Okay, he's done. He <laughs> pecked me a bit. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand. Good job, Stompy. Good job, Stompy. What do you think? And he didn't hurt. He just went, I'm done. Thank you for that. Are their eggs as big as ostriches? Not quite. Oh. Their eggs are pretty big, though. They're like this big, and they're dark green. I'll do that. Huh. It's a retractable. Oh, cool. Yeah. Show dino feet. Yeah, you can look at their feet. These are some cool adaptations on Stompy. All modern-day birds, 10,000-plus species, are descendants of theropods, which is a two-legged, three-toed raptor, feathered raptor. Stompy's still good? got wings. Do you feel better? But cannot fly. Oh. Stompy's got claws like a raptor. Real dinosaur bird. Whoa. Kind of crazy. <laughs> I didn't realize their feet were so high up. Do you want this one? Mike, Mike switch. Mike swap. Mike swap. Stompy wings. You want to see the camera? So he has a claw wing. Yeah, cool, right? <laughs> so you're basically a dinosaur back in the day. Heads up, chat. Popping noise incoming. So cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Hi, baby. Oh, sorry. Okay. He likes uh, shiny It doesn't things. hurt at all, actually. Yeah, he's, he's just he's checking gentle. out your rings. When he was a baby, he swallowed this ring. <gasps> yeah, he had to get an no, endoscopy no. to get it removed. Oh, honey. Yeah, he likes shiny things. He's just like me. On the move. <laughs> I love his hair at the top. I don't know why. It's just so, like, so funny. frazzled. Yeah, he looks so silly. They're also super well insulated. You were, like, watering him, but he's dry underneath all these feathers, which is oh. cool. Wow, I was trying to get between his feathers and everything. Yeah. <gasps> You're just dry. Wow, mm -hmm. it's actually dry. Yeah. Does he ever get too hot? No, he does pretty well. He can open his mouth really wide, uh, like a dog pants, <laughs> and that helps him cool off. Oh, okay. And then baths help him cool off. He loves water. You love water. No rings for you. No. <laughs> Shiny. Mm. Shiny. Why is his name Stompy? Because when he was a baby, he would run around and make stomping noises. I can see it. His name makes so much sense to yeah. me. Yeah. Stompy. Okay, I'm going to grab the treats and see if we can go feed the donkeys without a A donkey. A donkey. I forgot to ask, why are emus good for the world or earth? Just um, They're grazers. grazers. Uh, and they actually, <laughs> in... 1930, they were an agricultural pest, so like they're not great for agriculture because they'll go in and like mow down um, mm. people's crops. Donkeys are over here. Oh, mul multiple donkeys. Two donks. Two. Um, why Hello. are donkeys good? Because I only see donkeys from like Shrek. Donkeys also are grazers. Um, and they live on grasslands, and in the wild, these are domestic donkeys, but uh -huh. in the wild, um, they help turn over soils. Oh, that's um, good. Yeah, to make them more fertile. Hello. Hello. A donk. Donkeys are like mini horses. A donk. You want a treat? They're kind of shy, so they'll have to come up to you. Oh. But if you take this and then put your hand out flat. He'll take it out of your hand. This is jalapeno. Usually he's jalapeno. the more shy one. So we might take a second. We got these donkeys from a feedlot in Texas. Sorry, he's mm. a little lip. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. Here's Hi. another one. What's his name? Jalapeno. Jalapeno. We got the two donkeys from a feedlot. Uh -oh. oh, here. You can take this one. Oh, thanks. I was trying to. So. <laughs> he didn't. He really wanted to reach. I'm trying Brave. To Good boy. Good boy. Oh, okay. You can and give Serrano these. Serrano. Serrano. Serrano here. Oh, so good gentle. Boy. Oh, yeah. This one didn't have an upper lip <laughs> yeah. situation. Yeah. Jalapeno's real lippy. Here's the rest of them if you want to just. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Wait, this is awesome. <laughs> um, what's with his ears? So we got both of these from a feedlot. So they were going to be slaughtered for cat food or dog food or glue. <laughs> 
or medicine. Um, and so they chopped his ear as an identifier in that. Stop. In that food lot, yeah. People are cruel. Yeah. P so humans ones, are just so cruel. We're also rescued from slaughter. Get the last one to oh. the, I'm going to give the last one to the lippy dude because of his ear story. I'm sorry, bud. Um, also, wow, so nice. Serrano. Serrano. They use donkeys in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, they'll like boil the hides oh, and make a gel. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, and it uh, it's wiped mm. out a lot of wild donkey no. populations. Oh, don't be mad at each other because you got the last one. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's drama. <laughs> yeah, I love how there's drama. drama. <laughs> Wait, I love that Stompy came with us. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here, guys? Yeah, you wanted to check it out. The donks have definitely warmed up to humans. Yeah, when we first got them, we couldn't feed them or like um, touch them. So they've come a really long way. Does he have like a preference where he likes being pet? If he offers you his neck, you can touch him on his neck. Okay. That is crazy, actually. Thanks, Are they aggressive when they don't want to be? No, he like... would just run away. Oh. I've actually never seen him let anyone That's pet him like so that. <laughs> or anyone besides animal care staff. Oh my god, so that is so good. crazy, Janet. I'm a princess. That's crazy, I'm serious. I'm living my princess dreams. Oh, sorry, sweetie, that startled me. Our animal care staff is going to freak out. So Most people can only, like, kind of touch him on his head. He's a good boy. Wow, he's so brave. You're Serrano. So <laughs> that is crazy, so dude. Friend. Sorry, I screamed. I'm so happy. I feel so special. Thank you. Donkey you whisper. Well, I love that that's, that's the thing I wish for. Donkey Donkeys. <laughs> it's donkeys. Hi, baby. What about you? Jalapeno? <laughs> he probably won't let you touch it. You can try. You can walk up to him. I mean, this one surprised me. Okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm out. <laughs> well, I feel special. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Serrano. Thank you. Oh, yes, the donk button. They do have a little, a, a bu it's not really a button, but like where their ears go backwards she if you touch them right there. Yeah, I love that the ears go back. I'm sorry. Do you not like that one? Can I... Can I... Oh. <laughs> he's like, get away from me. I'm sorry. He's over it. Yeah. Oh, but he's come. He's chilling with us. So... Oh, no. <laughs> You're done. How we gave you the treats. He's no, so nice. No, I'm Serrano. sorry, honey. Oh, you think I have treats? He does. That's why. So what the heck? Hi, oh shiny. I know. Don't look. I love that Stompy came with us. Yeah. Rolled up with us Stompy to look loves at the people. donkeys. Yeah, donkeys are like cats. I love that you're fiddling with his upper lip. I love their lips. They're so soft. I love their little teeth. I can feel his mouth and his gums in here. So gentle. Look at <laughs> yeah, I mm. Oh, I see the teethies. <laughs> Hi, baby. Chirano. Um, someone asked why they have such big ears or what the benefits are. <laughs> uh, it helps with cooling. Um, so wild donkeys, are, there's an Asiatic branch and an African branch. Um, and so it's going to be hot uh, where they are in the wild. So one is cooling and one is just for... Oh, watch your ring. Sorry about that. Hey. Uh, shiny thing. <laughs> is that all I'm good for? <laughs> I gave you a bath. Rings so. and baths. That's crazy. Oh my God, Stompy. <laughs> Stompy. <laughs> Oh, Do they like being in the... Is this where you go yeah, with the it, horses? We too? call it the round pen. The round um, pen. So they do training in here every day. Oh, what's, uh, what's to train? Training to have a halter on um, so we can walk them around. Training mm. to load into a horse trailer in case oh. we have to take them off site for like vet or like a, okay. a weather thing. Um, and training to let us touch them for medical stuff. So if we have to put like ointment on their legs... I'll train in here. He said he's ready. <laughs> he's like, okay, training time. <laughs> yeah, my, he's so ready. I think session. I wonder if it's because he gets treats in there too. He does get he, a lot of treats. He's in smart. There. Yeah, he is. He's donkey treat super driven. Smart. Can you not harass her, please? <laughs> is it the She's ring? A guest. I'm, I'm gonna hide it, Stompy. Stompy. Okay. All right. What a successful pasture tour. I know, Stompy. I thought we had something more going on, <laughs> you know? Stompy's a lot. Ready for training. You guys can watch donkey training. You can watch all of 
the animals 24 7 yes. on the Alvea Sanctuary on the channel? Alvea Sanctuary. It, it's um, tagged in my title and mods can oh, you, thank you link it as well. Thank you. Another Twitch channel. No it's 24 7 like I watch it when it's mm -hmm. nighttime. you guys have like night cams and everything. Oh my god. And I see you. a donkey just like sleeping there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's we awesome. Twenty four seven cans. It's an awesome way to support the sanctuary yeah. too, because you can just have it up and, you know, in the background while you're working or whatever, and you know, watch the animals take naps and eat their food and get their training sessions, um, <laughs> and that supports us too. So, Siren. Siren, here we go. She's still talking. <laughs> Siren. Hello. I fall asleep sometimes to it. Oh, me too. But I also live here, so. Uh, I fall asleep to it, IRL. Hi. That was Mia as well. Oh my god, that, that's like, so realistic. I the know. beep. Yeah. I heard it. I thought that was like, it was perfectly timed when we left, so I thought the gate makes a beep when mm -hmm. we leave. No, it's, it's her. Oh no, Siren. <laughs> she sees us. Uh. She's beckoning us to come <laughs> see her again. Yes, now we're going to see Push Pop. Push Pop. Push Pop. She's our newest ambassador. All of the animals we call ambassadors. So so we rescue them and then they're ambassadors for their species. Aww. So like to teach people about about their wild That's so cute. Yeah, so Push Pop is our newest animal ambassador. Okay, I'm curious to see what animal Push Pop is. Chat. Don't spoil. I won't read chat. What? I'm not even going to read it. Pop. I'm so excited. <laughs> How many? There are still 14,000 people here. How many of you were oh here God. yesterday? Have you seen all this? You know what's coming? The queen of pop, if you will. Pop I hope smoke. there's a lot of um, new, like, viewers who are new to watching these streams. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So they're learning a lot and yes. seeing a lot. Yes, snap, crackle, pop. She's not a dinosaur. Me smile. Me smile, me smile, me smile. <laughs> Push a T. Only saw it You're partly. New. Okay. Yay! I've come for push pop. I've come for push pop. Push pop. Push pop. Wow. <gasps> Chinchillas. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so Trudy. Hi, Trudy. And Lindsay. Oh These are our animal care staff. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, this is Push Pop. Here, we'll take oh her outside God. so we can meet her outside because it's okay. nicer. And she likes walking around. Let's go over here. A turtle. A turtle. A turtle. I toured this. Push Pop. Ready to rumble. Let's go. Amazing. Hi. Chat, this is Push Pop. You can touch her if you want. She's a Salcata tortoise. Um, she's only about four years old, but this is one of the giant tortoises that gets to be like this big. My and, like, uncle pounds. had a tortoise as a pet, actually, and he would feed him like shrimp, like small little uh -huh. shrimp or something, or lettuce or yeah. something. I forgot. It was really young in China. But. Are they good as pets? Should they be pets? Should they just be? I think probably not long? because they live a hundred years. <laughs> that dude so, lived so long. Yeah, so most people can't commit to that. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, grass. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, she <laughs> likes. Oh, she's eating. I don't think she feels through the shell though. She does actually. Um, so the shell is made out of keratin and has blood vessels running through it. So it's like if you were to touch the top of your fingernail feels like that. So she can feel all that. Um, this is a, how to differentiate between a turtle and a tortoise. Turtle is a <laughs> umbrella term, <laughs> or umbrella family, and a tortoise is a turtle. Every tortoise is a turtle, not every turtle is a tortoise. But also generally, if it's aquatic, it's probably a turtle. Callie Byrne, by the way, turtle. thank you for the $100 donation. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you and handsome me yuppie. They were the 15. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yum grass. They like being Can we get a close scratched. up on Push oh, Pop? Yes. Eating grass. She's really good at it. She's she's doing good out here. So she's also called an African spurred tortoise. They're endangered in the wild oh, right no. now. Um, one of the reasons is wow. <laughs> she really went. <laughs> is uh, because they're competing with cattle. 
Um, so they live on grasslands and graze, and to meet the demand for beef, we're filling a ton of land with cattle. Okay. Um, and so they're having to compete with cattle, and they're losing. So no. they're endangered for that reason. They're also endangered because of the pet trade. Um, she is getting it. Is bussing. Yeah, free she lawn mower. <laughs> someone said she is a free lawn mower. But yeah, we got Push Pop. Somebody got her. A lot of people buy baby tortoises because they're like golf ball sized and so cute. They and don't like, realize how big they're going right. to grow. Yeah, and so a family bought her at that size and had her for about four years. And, and then, she kept growing. Yeah, and then they, they moved states and they left her behind. No. So that's how we got her. Most people just can't commit to a pet for yeah. 100 years. Because then your kid also has to commit to it. That's kind of crazy. Does she have teeth? Uh, no, not really. Um, but you can you can see her mouth chew, parts pretty chew clearly there. Chew before you pull more. She just like hasn't even chewed or swallowed the others. She's just <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're maybe it's a little serrated. I haven't looked that close. When are they fully grown? I think at about 15 years old she'll be her full like 100 pounds, 20 to 30 inches. Oh my god, voice ID, they were the $50. Bones McJones, they were the $15. Zila, they were the $15 donation. Lasagna, Nasty, they were the $50. And M Hawk, they were the $15. It's just like a surge. Thank you so of much. Of donations. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Um, let's see, what age are they fully grown? Is it like a beak? Kind of. What does she eat? Uh, she eats plants, grass, um, veggies, zucchini, squash, like oh. lettuce. Mustard greens, dandelion greens, things like that. Thank you, the that pineapple lord. Thank you for the hundred dollar donation. Donation. The wolves are gonna be so happy. Can she bite? Technically, yeah, but so can me and Janet, and we don't. <laughs> and we don't. <laughs> yeah, and we don't. So you don't really have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, how big is or how old is she? She's about four years old. Does she have an enclosure? So right now she's inside in a terrarium because she's small, but I'll show you. We're building her like a big enclosure <gasps> outside so she can be outside oh, and eat yay. grass and live life. We're oh going to have God. a live cam that's like an ASMR cam oh. when she's eating her veggies. It'll be so good. I love watching those videos yeah, on me YouTube. Too. Me too. The ASMR tortoise food stuff. Your cat is watching. Cats <laughs> love Alvea streams. <laughs> Cats love watching I the animals. I bet my cats would love this. Why does she have spikes on her legs? Oh, they're um, for digging and for protection. So she gets spooked, she'll close her oh, head yeah, in like she that. Does, she doesn't like yeah. it being touched. And, and she'll put her uh, oh, sorry, she'll put her legs honey. in front of her face. Oh, she's fine. Oh, okay. She, she recovers. Back to eating. Okay. No other. I didn't um, know she didn't like touching it. She will be alone in her enclosure, yeah, but they're pretty solitary. So she is better off on her own than with another one. U.S. Matrix, thank you for the $50. Thank Glennon's, you thank you for the 25 and more. Thank for you for the 15. 15 How big would this tortoise be in 100 years? She I is, get why she's called Push Pop. <laughs> she'd be like, yeah, because her head like. Yeah. So she'd be like this big-ish and about 100 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, Push Pop. Okay. Oh, she's on the move. She's actually oh, pretty fast. She is. I think. For, like, you would think they're slower, like they move like this. Yeah, But yeah. they don't. No, she's got places to be, man. Okay, miss. Did you okay, get some miss. grass? She had a buffet out here. Push pop. She's looking at you. The goal got reached. Thank you, guys. You know what? It would really hurt to get bit by her. Actually. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at her mouth. <laughs> She's not a snapping turtle. Turtle. Stare. Stare. Amazing. Push pop. Push pop. She did great. Push pop will be here. <laughs> Don't mind her. <laughs> she was eating so much out there. She was <laughs> loving it. Grass. Um. There. Are ooh, up here. Come here. Chinchilla. Hi, oh Moomin. Oh my god. Hi, baby. <laughs> That's Moomin. Moomin is so lively and cute. Yeah. Little rodents. They're very soft. We have chinchillas to teach people about the fur trade. Oh. Um, it takes 125-ish of them to make a fur coat. 
So, oh, they're oh hi, baby. So they're almost wiped out in Peru. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they would just capture them for the fur trade. Fur is way less popular now, though. Guys, don't wear fur. Don't wear fur. Fur hi, is baby. bad. Hi, baby. I swear, my um, my my niece and nephew have a chinchilla, two chinchillas. Do they? I think as pets, unless they're not chinchillas. I thought they were. Oh, is that one up here? Yeah, he like sprinted. Baby. They went down there. Yeah, they both down there. Oh. For you. Here you go. Let me make it. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Yay. Pea flake. Pea flake. Yeah, fur is cringe. Um, we also have little rats. Okay. <laughs> no, they're cute too. Ooh. Come here. What is that noise? It's a chicken. Oh, there's a chicken in there. Yeah. She's, oh that's Polly. She does not live in there. Oh, okay. no, no, no. I mean, I <laughs> She's usually out and about. Wait, I um, love her hair. Oh, This oh is my Chips God. Ahoy. Why like, is he I'll cute? Because rats are cute. I'll like, I didn't think they would be so cute. He's cute. <laughs> so Chips Ahoy and Wait, Noah Wafer. I didn't think I would like rats. Like, I don't know. I've never actually seen one in person. I just she should like, come out. Not so one see, but that's nice, Chips. These rats are going to be snake food. That's why we have them. You're going to um, be snake food. Yeah. Um, oh, I shouldn't be attached to her then. No, she was going to oh, be. Oh, she not was going, going to me. Oh, my God. I thought they were going to be. Oh, my God. No, I would not oh, have that's what she like, meant. And her. I was like, um. Okay, no. so I shouldn't be attached. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were going to be snake food. Uh, now they live here. And we have them to teach people about rodenticide use. Remember what I was talking about with toast and, like, pesticides and how to. So, same thing with rat poison. If like an owl eats a rat, then the owl eats the rat poison. And oh, it just, moves oh, up it just keeps chain. going. Mm -hmm. Okay. So also avoid rat poison. Do they like if pets? You can. Um, sometimes she likes being pet under her chin under if she comes chin. out. She I don't have another I don't carrot. A pet. Chips. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you, chips. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> I think I like. I'm surprised at how much Do I you like love. Them? <laughs> rats now they're really cute and they're, they're really smart so cute yeah they, oh yeah they're, they're really super cute. smart they like spin um they're really they have really great recall oh my god she kind of looks at me like like she's scared of me and then just like i can't believe i was scared of you <laughs> hey chips no wafers in there somewhere as well. Can I touch the chinchilla? Yeah, maybe. Oh. As long as they don't jump out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Careful. Push pop. Snork. Can she get a snork? No jumping out. Okay. <laughs> She's, She's so out. cute. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's like, hold on. She's space. Like pushing your hand away. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, but you're so soft, please. Like, she's I, like, please. It's <laughs> so funny. All right, you can, she okay. probably doesn't want to be touched. She's so, she's that such a meme. Said, by the way. Push um, pop, you're scary. That was so funny. Uh, thank you, Snork, thank you for your time. <laughs> I got rejected. It's sad they're so soft. I wish she's they were so more soft. cuddly. Oh my yeah. god. Even her paw on my hand pushing me away was <laughs> the softest thing ever. <laughs> it was the softest thing ever. Push pop, living her life, doing her thing. She's Just getting an outdoor Roman. enclosure soon. Yeah. For now, she's living, breathing. You want to meet some monkeys? Monkeys, yes. Monkeys. You have monkeys. I do. Pokey called them gorilla hamsters yesterday. Gorilla. <laughs> You'll see why. Oh my God. Um. So we have two monkeys. They're marmosets, which is a really small primate. Um, we have a common marmoset and a black tufted marmoset, both from Brazil, or native to Brazil. Okay. We have them because somebody bought them as a pet online. Uh, it's always that, It's always I that, yeah. And then didn't know how to take care of them. Uh, uh, didn't take good care of them. Yeah. And so our vet declared neglect for them, and then we rescued them here. I'm glad. So they've been rehabilitated here for quite a while. I'll explain more in depth their, their medical stuff when we get in there, but... Monkeys aren't pets. Nobody get monkeys as pets. Not chill. I lost my chat. <laughs> Little goats. goats. These are the goats. You the goat. Yeah, they're not 
They're not part of the education programs, technically. They just, <laughs> they just live here. Hold on, chat. I don't see you. Oh. Is yours working? Yeah, mine's okay, working. Good. Okay, okay. Monkeys? Hello? Yay. You guys get so many butterflies here. We do. I haven't Isn't seen a crazy? butterfly in years. <laughs> They're like everywhere. It's a great time of year to see butterflies. Yeah. Oh, look, a monkey. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> he's, he's so he's cute. <laughs> Momo. Stop! Stop it right now! I'm gonna kidnap him! <laughs> no. I'm gonna kidnap him! Hello! You got that one? Okay. okay. Alright. Oh, hi, Momo. Oh, hi, Appa. You're both up. Oh. Two monkeys. Oh. Oh my gosh. Can we come over here? Here it comes. <gasps> Appa. I know why she called them that. Yes. <laughs> Gorilla I hamsters. I didn't expect them to look. I expected like monkey monkey. Like the, like the ones you usually right. expect. The stereotypical. Yeah. These are very small. Oh. Um. Stop. <laughs> she loves them. Um, so the one you're looking at right now, this is Momo. Hi, um, Momo. Appa is the Hi, one over Appa. here. Sorry, I'm like loading your Hi. chat phone. Is Did you come here? Did you come here? What do you think? So this is oh, a black tufted marmoset. This is a common marmoset. Hi, Appa. Um, also called a white tufted marmoset. Do they like being pet? Probably not. Okay. Um, he loves screens if you want to like show him screens. your phone. Look. And if you give him a stick, he'll take that. <laughs> Slow, if you you want to like, look at my pick up screen? Stick. <laughs> Whoa, that's sick, right? You he love screens. Oh, yeah, you would be on the PC of technology. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to get glasses if you look at it too close. iPad baby. iPad baby. Pygmy marmosets are even smaller, yes. Um, so these ones, so somebody bought them as a pet, didn't take good care of them. When... Appa first came here, he had almost no use of his back legs. Now he has great use of yeah, his back legs. Yeah, he's moving. Mm -hmm. They had metabolic bone disease, dental disease, vitamin D deficiencies. Uh, he can um, just jump on you like Yeah, that. he likes... Oh, my God. Momo! Oh, hello. hello, Momo. Do you want to look at the screen? And this is their first time having, like, an outdoor enclosure because they lived inside someone's house <laughs> for their whole lives before coming here. <laughs> so fascinated. That sound is him. I don't know if you can hear that chat. But. He goes, bah. Oh, mm -hmm. that's coming from him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Momo. Stop, they're so cute. Yeah, they're really cool. Oh, my God. So, oh, my God. One reason you don't want them as pets is because it's really unfair to them. They love having outside space. Mm. Obviously, they're monkeys. Um, and two, they're seed dispersers. So in the wild, their job is to eat fruits and swing around and shit everywhere <laughs> to help with forest regrowth. Because they like, awesome. disperse seeds, right? <laughs> um, but they do that in your house. So you'll just have like, oh my poop God. all over your house. <gasps> oh, uh, They jump a lot. That must have been a good shot. Appa, can you come over here? Yeah, how old Here's are almost. they? Oh. Oh, um, love I think they were four and five years old. Four and five. Yeah, this they one's... just look like one oh. month and two months. I know, they look babies. like little babies. <laughs> oh. Yeah, lots of poop. Poop time for the monkeys. I love them. Do you want to give Appa a stick? Oh yes. I can go. He's or the other one. Where is he? Is he on that side? Oh, there he is. You can drop it. Hope. Yeah. He likes sticks. Oh my god, <laughs> he's so fascinated. What is this? Mm. Yeah, monkeys also bite. Um, so this one closest to us has Mama. had more than half of his teeth removed because oh, of that dental disease. Um, but Appa has had no teeth removed and will bite. <laughs> are they soft? They are pretty soft, but they, they don't really like so being pet. Soft. They are both male. What do they eat? They have three different specially formulated diets uh, that are made for 
marmosets. Um, and then they also eat produce and some insects as well. He loves him. He loves the whole oh, camera setup. Oh, it's the camera. So there's screens yeah. everywhere. He also oh. likes flip, but... Oh, wow, monitor. Cool. Oh, my God. Are they friends? They are definitely friends. Yeah, they have... That's they, so uh, cute. Is it besties? They're besties. Oh. I'm almost playing with the stick now. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> he said, fuck that stick. <laughs> I love the Boing. way they leap. Does it hurt, Flippy? The way he's crawling up you? No. No? Oh, okay. Sometimes they bite, though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How long is their lifespan? I think it's around 20 years under human care, but don't quote me on that. Aww. Don't remember. But I know they are young. <laughs> it's just a shame that you guys don't like being pet, because I would pet the heck out of you. I know. I want to cuddle yeah. you, scoop you up, kiss you, snuggle. Look at him itching himself. He was itching himself, and it looks <laughs> so cute. He like, oh. ah. you want another stick? Here, you can give him this one. I buy you want this one. <laughs> A wood chip. What is this? I love how he inspects mm -hmm. it. Yeah, they're oh oh delicious. He's not eating it. He's just destroying it. You're just like siren. Yeah. How far can they jump? I don't know, like feet, but they can. Yo, they, they can leap jump they yeah. can jump man like he could jump from where he is to the screen platform easily they're leapers i love them are they cool gorilla hamsters they really i get they, it they are um they're yeah they're super smart there's so much oh going on God. like in their little faces he wants the camera lens because he can see himself in it stop <laughs> <laughs> he likes looking at it like a mirror. I love the way they hang from it. Like, he's hanging with one arm right now. <laughs> just chilling. Do they get haircuts? No, they don't. This is just oh. how their hair is. Oh, my God! <laughs> They're tiny. Why do they like the sticks? Um, Aqua just likes inspecting novel things. Oh, Thank you, you for hear the that. that. There. It's nice. Sing it. Oh! Wow. Chat, do you hear that? These are not the smallest monkeys, but they're definitely small for monkeys. That's a very nice demo. It's piercing. Momo. Thank you. Oh, he's That's so talkative. Different. Hey, bud. What do you think? Hi. <laughs> Can I hold my mic up to him? Yeah. He may leave, but you're oh, welcome to try. There you he can goes. hold it up to um, Papa if you want. Oh, hi, Papa. Do you have anything to say? You can grab it. Oh, is that soft? You've never seen this one, huh? He doesn't care. Do you want me to put him on your shoulder? I would love to. Okay. Let's, see. Okay. Let's see. Keep over here. Oh. Keep over here. That's nice. <laughs> I'm living my best life. <laughs> oh my god. I love you. Appa, can you turn around? Phone screen. That's nice. Oh, so good boy. Cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Don't go anywhere. We are one. <laughs> got we'll roll face. like this. <laughs> he wants the screen. You want to go to the screen? Coming for the phone. Okay, you can look at the phone as long as you're with me. Can we get an up close of him inspecting a stick? He's probably more interested in the phone. I can try to give him the stick. Do you want this? Okay. Is that everything you guys dreamed it would be? <laughs> he just wants the phone. Yeah, the he's looking at the phone. He is an iPad baby. The monkeys have an iPad. Oh, a touch. He's, he's, a like, touch. he's like, he looked at me. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I touched you. If you want to walk over to the platform, you uh, can kind of roll him off your arm. Well, but I like him. There. Okay, that's fine too. Oh, yeah, as as yeah. No, I don't mind <laughs> it. I touched him and he looked at me up and down. Like, yeah, he was like, and he squared me up and then he, he bit me. <laughs> like, okay. But it, it wasn't hard. I like that you guys have boundaries. I did try to sneak that in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I really thought. <laughs> I effed around and found out. Um, we've asked, what was the process of socializing them with each other? I've seen that question a couple of times. I think it's from the same person. But they came together. Um, so that wasn't something that we did. They were living together. And I them. loved him. I know he's like, excuse you. Would these two different types of monkeys live together in the wild? Uh, in proximity, yeah. They both are from Brazil in the same, uh, not quite the same ranges. Maybe like a little bit of overlap. Um, Where are you going? The other, the other technology? Phone. Okay. 
so they might come across each other in the wild, but they wouldn't live together in like a colony or anything like that. <laughs> what do you think, bud? This is a new mic. You haven't seen these, huh? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. So cute. Do they ever walk in the ground? Not much. I mean, they can certainly get down if they wanted to. They like being in the high ground. I love how each stick he like looks at, bites, yeah, and then just drops. <laughs> Good demo. Mm, done. <laughs> <laughs> done. He speaks English. Bless you. What was the process after getting them? Kind of crazy. Okay, so when we heard about these guys and that they needed a place to be rehabilitated, it all happened very fast. It was like a, a week. We heard them, and then a week later, we had to get them. Oh, wow. Um, and so we didn't have the permits as a sanctuary from, like, USDA and Texas Parks and Wildlife to have them on site as a nonprofit. But as a Texas resident, I could have them as my, like, pet, quote-unquote, with oh. no permit at all which is so backwards because they came from the pet trade that yeah. is the reason that they're in this position. Um, so a lot of the laws are really backwards. Uh, so I was able to have them in my house to be rehabilitated for, for a number of months. Um, and then we got all the permits that we needed um, and got to move is them the out into this Is the process difficulty? It depends a on okay. the animal. Um, for some birds, it's hard because they're... Uh, regulated by do you just send letters or make phone calls or you have to go in person both applications oh. um, and then okay. people come and inspect our enclosures oh two boys that's nice guys oppa looks so majestic i know oh, backlit look at you oppa's very social yeah so technically in texas you can legally have these as a pet but there are a lot of things that you can do that are legal that you shouldn't do like, cheat on your wife. Oh, my God. What's he doing? Peeing on it. Wow. <laughs> Don't he, it mean you like should, he just, chat. He just he rubbed his butt on that. Yeah, they like to mark things. <laughs> God. Yeah, what do they eat? They get uh, a canned diet, a biscuit diet, and a gel diet. So they're all, like, special made for these, oh. for these um, two species. And then they eat produce and some insects as well. Hi, baby. You mm. coming back? Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. Not Sorry. coming back. Not coming back. I thought you wanted the phone. I thought so, too. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. All right. Should we go see the crows? Okay. Oh, oh, goodbye, monkeys. I miss you. You guys are so cute. <laughs> in the wild, would it just be insects? They would eat insects and fruits in the wild. Oh, oh you know what? You guys can go. And I will walk that. Okay. Do you think they're smart enough to unlock it themselves? No, just, not with these locks. Just to be sure. Perhaps if the key was already in there, they could get lucky and spin it. I missed but them already. Bring fruit next time. Their favorite food, um, stereotypical, is banana. Banana. They love banana. Yeah, that is stereotypical. Oh, I, the wolf enclosure. I can show you. <gasps> yes. I don't know whose car that is. It's a contractor's. It's not usually there. <laughs> um, oh, that car? <laughs> you're the one just like sitting in the... Oh, I see. I see. We have a lot of contractors here because we're building this wolf enclosure. Wow. Oh, my God. Way too dense. Some construction happening. Um, it's a better view from the other side because there's this huge building here now. But this is like the front part of it. And then they have this big building that they'll have AC in. Um, I love AC. Yeah. It's huge. It's huge. We'll look at it from the from the back. I'm so excited. It's really already coming together. It's a lot. We have until May 4th. So yeah, that's it's coming up. <laughs> it is. <gasps> okay, oh so the crows God. are like. There's kinda, a lot of crows in LA. Yes. I see them a yeah, lot. Yeah, and these are the same. These are uh, American crows. So they're really sensitive to the construction. So they might not want to come down. But we can try. Okay. Whoa, there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, he has a hop to his skip. Yeah. Um, here, you want to take your chat phone off? Oh, he doesn't like them. Oh, he doesn't like these? Yeah. And then oh. we can have him come to you. Okay, well, he's proving me wrong. He's fine with them. Oh. Um, Abbott, can you come He over? love you. Abbott. Me? Oh, he just <laughs> want you. Here, you want to stand over here? Okay. There you go. Oh. This is Abbott. He's an American oh. crow. 
Um, he was born in the wild in... Sorry, he's kind of sharp. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Ouch. He was born in the wild Whoa. in Central Texas. Um, and was raised by people, so he imprinted on people. Um, and doesn't know how to take care of himself. You. What do you think? Sharp. He's sharp. He, they sharp. So someone, they tried to release him um, after he was raised by people, and mm -hmm. he just ended up landing on randoms in a park, like, begging for food, because oh. he doesn't know how to find food yeah. for himself. So that's why they're here. Um, I say they because there's another crow. I've never seen a crow close up, and it's so beautiful. They're cool, huh? To them, too, birds can see, uh, they see a different color spectrum than we do, so they probably look really cool to each other. Like, I just thought they were just black. Mm -hmm. But there's some iridescence to it. He's blue, beautiful. Navy, blue. You want to go over They're here? Pretty. You go up there. You come back. <laughs> He's amazing. You go up there. He's like, you come back. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Do you want to hold him again? Or you don't want to? Um, He's sharp. I, He's sharp. He doesn't hurt sharp. you. You just like, you're yeah, fine. Used you're used to it. Used it. Oh, my yeah. God. And down. <laughs> oh, it's not so bad. Okay. Yeah, I think he got you at a bad angle before. Go there. Go there. No. <laughs> go there. Go over there. Oh. Good job. And then you hold your arm out. And then Come back. Good, Good boy. Good boy. Oh, coconut bread. Hi, coconut. <laughs> you go up here. Oh, yeah. You, you get used to it. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> so nice. Coconut for you. Oh, good catch. Coconut's go really shy. It's cool oh. that he's... Oh, my God, Abbott. You like <laughs> a lot today. Can you... Can you... Can you... <laughs> For you. Oh. Here, you want to throw these to him? Oh, yes. Okay, hold on. Let me... <laughs> I will give you these, and I will hold these. I will <laughs> secretly give you these. And you can toss food to him. He's usually okay at catching. Okay. You might have to toss a little higher. Okay, higher, higher. So that's Good. coconut, same thing. He was coconut. born in the wild, uh, but as a baby, he was blown Did out of his it? nest by a storm. <gasps> So then he got, he was raised by people. Good cat. Nice throws. And so he imprinted on people. Well, oh. <laughs> oopsies. Oh, Whoa. that was a crazy catch. <laughs> yeah, I realized he, he needs it to be above him. All the shy animals do love Janet. Yay. Coconut doesn't usually come out for collabs. Okay, I'm really, I'm really bad at throwing these. Here, I have some more. Um, let me, how do I do this? <laughs> I'm gonna hold these and then you can. No, Abbott, Abbott, here. No, Abbott. <laughs> Abbott. Ah, whoa, you ate. Wait, he ate those <laughs> so fast. Here, here, take them like this. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, so Coconut wouldn't like it if I walked up to Coconut? No, to he'll probably him? fly away. Okay, Coconut. Coconut. Good coconut. What does imprinting mean? Good question. Coconut. Um, so it's oh. just the process Good that coconut. birds go through to identify with a species. Coconut. So it's oh. a irreversible Good change coconut. that actually happens in their brain. Um, oh my god, he's a fiend. He is, yeah. Oh. So Good baby coconut. birds, like baby ducks, will imprint on adult ducks, and that's how they know that they're a duck, and they'll follow ducks, and they'll learn what to be afraid of, and what to eat, and who to mate with, and where to migrate to, and how to find shelter. And when birds are raised by people, an imprint on people, um, they don't learn any of those things. So he's going to stash this food right now because he's got a ton in his mouth because he stole. So he's oh, so he's been keeping these. He has been keeping oh. them, so he's going to bury them in rocks. Let's um. see where he decides to do that. Are you going to stash that? Hmm. I see your mouth is full. Where to go? You imprinted hmm. on my daughter, right? So in Twilight... <laughs> There was imprinting. Yeah. But technically, with mammals, they can't. They don't actually imprint. It's it's a different process called habituation. Oh yeah, I see that his mouth is full. But it's same like half open. Same concept. So where does coconut bring his? Coconut he's, ate all his. Oh. Okay. Abba is. Oh, he's watering it down. Delicious. Oh. Okay. He waters the food down. You don't want to just eat Abbott, it. What are you gonna do with it? More soup. Ew. <laughs> That's gross, dude. That's yuck. <laughs> Pick them back up. Pick them back up. Cereal. <laughs> Cereal. <laughs> okay, well, maybe he's not going to bury it. He's just going to eat it like that. You just like it like that. Okay. If I have one more, should I put it in the water? Sure. Up, 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 it, up it. Oh, coconut. Oh, he found it. So smart. 
Good boy. Um, hi, buddy. Man, sorry about the construction noise. <laughs> are crows the smartest birds? They're definitely up there. Corvids are very smart. Uh, crows and ravens can both talk. These guys haven't, but they're capable of speaking, which is very cool. You like porridge. You're a good baby. Yeah, he's nice, Abbott. You're a good baby. Oh, so oh, nice. thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Wow. That was really good. Because... I never thought crows could be chill like that. Like, I see them all the time. And now mm -hmm. they're just flying around. All right. And now I'm afraid that when I see a crow in LA, I'm going to be like, hey. Oh. I shouldn't, yeah, right? they probably won't come over <laughs> for you. But, like, I shouldn't, just in case. But, like, I want to. Yeah, that was awesome. But they don't. I haven't even taken collaborators in there for a while because they're so sensitive to the construction, oh, really? but that was great. Oh. This is Push Pop's new enclosure. Push Pop! Yeah. The, the green building or just the, the whole, whole thing. thing? Oh my um, god! Yeah, she's going to have all this outdoor <gasps> space and her own trees, her own little forest. I love seeing construction. I know this is going to sound degenerate, but it kind of reminds me of like Minecraft. No, that's fair. It is like Minecraft. <laughs> We have all of our materials there. Yeah, they have, like, all your mats, <laughs> and you just need to start building. Yeah. <laughs> um, so with the crows, guys, if you find any baby wild animals, if you find, like, baby birds or baby bunnies or raccoons or opossums, whatever, um, look up uh, your local wildlife rehabilitation center instead of trying to raise them yourself. Um, one, it's illegal, and two, you can accidentally imprint them and really, really, really reduce their chance of surviving in the wild. What is and that don't keep noise? them as a pet. Don't do that. There's like a buzzing sound. What noise is that? Oh, bugs. Oh. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> the fox enclosure. Oh! <gasps> Hi. Oh! It's so friendly. We also have a found an animal feature on the Alveus website. So if you find one and you want to go through that process too, it'll answer hopefully all the questions you have if you find something. Okay, this is the fox enclosure. Um, he or she, because they are ready. He, yeah, he is ready for us. Two foxes. Oh. What causes imprinting? Lots of things. Birds can imprint on just sound. Um, human voices they can imprint on. Um, seeing humans, getting fed by humans, anything like that. It's very... A very sensitive process raising a wild baby bird. Leave it to the professionals, you know what I mean? Hi, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> so, this is the fox enclosure. This is Finn. All right, if you want to come over here, I'll give you some chicken. Oh, chicken. Um, it's rehydrated, so it's a little wet, but um, you can kneel down. He'll come chicken. take it from you. Chicken. <laughs> oh. Here's one. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, they are canines, yeah. So um, Finn is an American red fox, so like the red foxes you'll see in the wild. But he was bred to be this color for the pet trade. Oh, so he was bred in captivity to be a pet, and then he was confiscated from the illegal pet trade yeah. in California. I have no more honey. Oh, you're so cute. Um, Reed has been really shy about construction lately. Mm -hmm. But if you want to take the here, I'll keep Finn at bay here. Okay. If you want to take those and like kind of slowly walk over to oh, where sorry. Reed is. Finn, Finn, what about the Finn? Finn. <laughs> oh, I'll get him. Um, and just kind of offer it, see if he'll come up to you on that platform. I shouldn't climb the platform. No, you can just stand there and hold it out and see if he'll walk up to you. That's Reed. Reed is an American red fox. Um, he was born in the wild in Central Coast, California, um, but he was raised by humans, um, people that weren't wildlife rehabilitators, and he never learned how to take care of himself in the wild, so that's why he's uh, no, not under chicken. human care. We have the foxes to teach people both about the pet trade, so you don't want foxes as pets, kind of duh. Uh, they don't like being inside. They like having outside spaces. Um, and then also to teach people about the fur trade. They use foxes for furs as Reed well. Reed is shy. He's very shy. He's like timid. Yeah. You can come over here again. 
I feel that was bad for Reed. Reed. From you, though. Poor Reed. He's so scared. He does really great with our animal care staff. Oh, good. I'm um, glad. Yeah, they can. You're adorable. <laughs> I, you were just, he's so fluffy. Oh my God. He is fluffy. He's adorable. He's shedding though, because it's getting warm. Oh. That's why he's like the first half of him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's shedding. Okay. Oh. Oh. There he is. Reed yeah, and Finn. no furs, chat. Furs are cringe. And they're, um, they're friends. Yeah, they're buddies. Look, they're playing. <laughs> Finn and Reed. This is beautiful. I love that they have little tunnels to go play in. Yeah, they love digging. Yeah. Did they dig some of these they themselves? They dug all of them. Oh yeah. my god. They're pretty good at it. Yeah. Good water. Good water. The tunnels that they dug. Oh, Finn's so cute. He's so cute. He's so dog-like. Yeah. Yeah. The funny thing about Finn is when they breed, when they breed foxes for the pet trade, yeah. they breed them to have shorter snouts and like to be different colors and have spots and floppy ears oh. and to not be afraid of people. And it's really just, they make them more and more like dogs. Dogs. That's probably um, why. Yeah. But realistically, it's just people just want dogs yeah. as pets. Yeah. Just get a dog. Right. Just get a dog. Just get a dog. <laughs> Uh, so, yes, they could, they dig a lot, um, but the enclosure has wire buried and concrete buried um, so that they can't dig out. Again, all of the animals that we have at Alveus would not survive in the wild, right? They're not capable of survival on their own. Finn was born in captivity, raised in someone's home, and was confiscated from there, so he would not make it on his own. And then Reed was orphaned as a baby and was raised by people, so he also could not survive in the wild. So us keeping them from escaping this enclosure is also for their safety, um, because they would die. That's for all the animals at Alveus. All of our animals are non-releasable. Yeah. Um, so their options are either remain under human care, teach people about their species as ambassadors, or euthanasia. So that's why we have them. They wouldn't survive out there. They wouldn't know how to fend for themselves. The foxes do play all night. Yeah, you can watch them on the cams. They yeah. like play, what's that, a whack-a-mole? They oh. play that like with the holes. They like <laughs> pop up out of the holes. Where are <laughs> the cameras? There's one right here. Oh, um, that's and then where there's they are. another one on that tree. Oh my god. Yeah. They're tiny. I know. It's so cool because they're so not invasive for yeah. the animals. Like they, they really no just idea. get to chill all day yeah. and they don't know that they're teaching people. It's a secret. Yeah, but they do a really good life. job. Where can we watch them? Uh, on Alveus Sanctuary. Alveus Twitch. TV Sanctuary. Slash Alveus Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Are they nocturnal primarily? Technically, they're crepuscular. Crepuscular. Which uh, means they're most active at dusk and dawn. There's crepuscular, dusk and dawn, nocturnal, nighttime, and diurnal during the day. They're adorable together. Seeing... Yeah, seeing foxes on a walk is way cooler than having one as a pet. You should not have them as pets. Mm -mm. What does he keep rubbing against over there? He's just itching oh, on the wire. Is that like an itching post? No, I don't. Oh, actually, there might be a brush like mounted there. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's a brush. Cool. He's trying to get. He's trying to shed out because he's oh, started to shed. Hi. They are friends. Yes. Are wild foxes usually scared of humans? Yeah, most wild animals are scared of humans. All right, we'll get out of here because Reed started pacing a little bit. Oh, when he starts pacing, he's like uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, he didn't even come out. He went in that room. So the girls, whoop, the girls didn't even get to see him. Oh, no. All right, we'll wait to open that yeah. until he closes. Okay. Bye, bye, Finn. I could watch them. <laughs> Can I see your mic again? I don't know why we're having so many mic problems all day. Technology. My like stream stream is always like this too. I'm always too loud, too quiet. There you go. Thank you. Did I press a button? I don't know. I don't oh. think so. Uh, let me know that. if this is okay. It should be chat. back. On. This happens to me. Yeah, you're good. Okay. 
The bye foxes. I that's where I live. Back there. <laughs> yeah, foxes smell like that. Oh, that's the fox. Mm-hmm. They have a No, they have a musk. Um SCK, thank you for the 25, and Stompy Hugs, thank you for the 20. Thank you. Oh, the wolf enclosure, sorry. Let's go, we can just go through here. Yeah, 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 wolf enclosure, sorry, sorry. This is the biggest enclosure we've ever built. It's like 11 times the fox enclosure. Yeah, it's massive. Your mic again, what the hell? My mic or your mic? Your mic. We'll just like share this one. Okay, we're sharing a mic. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Should I turn mine off? It's off. Oh, it is off, mind. okay. This is the wolf enclosure. Um, this is the end of it, and it goes all the way Holy over there. Holy, it's massive. It's all the way over massive. there. Yeah, it's huge. Um, it's also an open air enclosure, so they have all these trees. Um, it's not covered, which is really cool for them. And they're gonna have a river and a little oh, pond there. and a berm and dens. And yeah, the wolves come here May 4th, so guys. Excited. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It'll be really awesome watching them uh, adjust. To living here How on the many live camps. Wolves? Two. Two. Their names are Awa and Timber. And they will be getting AC. They will be getting AC as well. Yep, yep, yep. Bougie wolves. Yeah. Insane progress being made. Yeah. It's a big project. There's a lot going on yeah. around here lately. The Jenna, what was your favorite animal? Oh man, okay. Well, obviously Winnie. <laughs> she was awesome. I was really touched when um one of the donkeys, um not not jalapeno, Serrano. He let me pet him and I felt really special. Um the two little monkey hamsters, adorable. So adorable. Um toast toast for the reptiles for sure. Leaning his little neck on my arm was adorable. I love it when animals do that. <laughs> We're doing tech checks related yeah, things, I by the way. Oh, you got a new mic. Nice. Wait, let me give him. Oh. My least favorite, still the cockroaches <laughs> for okay. me. But at least I touched one. That was that was new. Never would have thought I would touch a cockroach. Yeah, you made friends with Barbara. Barbara. Sort of. It was yeah. nice. Yeah. All the Martys. What George. Jalapeno did was way more <laughs> impressive. Jalapeno was super brave. I Serrano was oh, so really? cool. All the animals actually did awesome they today. Did so good. I love how you. clingy Ace was Ace was oh to you. Like I love that he loves you. He like he knows you as like little Maya, 12-year-old Maya. <laughs> yeah, I got him when he was 8. That's so and he's adorable. 22. I love that. Crazy. He has an attachment with you. It's crazy. Stompy just like pulling up with us with the donkeys. Like I didn't even realize he was there. Yeah. Stompy. <laughs> Just standing between you and Flippy. Stompy's a very friendly bird. Mm. It's cute. He likes cuddles. He likes being pet. He's probably, people ask me what my favorite is all the time. Not that I should answer that question because, mm -hmm. right, but it's probably <laughs> Stompy. But that's because I've had Stompy for so long. Like Stompy was the first ambassador we got here. Mm -hmm. um, he's OG. He's an OG and I raised him in my house. Oh so my like, god, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, just seeing everything up close, like, was an incredible experience. I'm so an glad you loved it. I've, I don't think I can ever get Aww. besides here. So thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Are you kidding? No, thank You're you. You're doing a stream and you fundraise so much. No, thank you like, to chat. So much. Thank chat. you to chat thank for you. fundraising so much. Hi. Hi, goats. Hi. I have pet a goat before. That's nice. 
I've you want goats before. We're not putting in these goats. <laughs> Chat, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> bah. I want to own a chicken. Well, whenever I am ready for a chicken, I will be reaching out to yeah, you. Yeah, totally. I'm so curious. I should do whatever. Mm -hmm. Chickens are so fun. I want a chicken so bad. Oliver learned how to play the xylophone once. <laughs> <laughs> and he can jump from arm to arm. And they're target yeah, he trained. Has hops. They're trained to like peck a little red ball. It's pretty sick. They're pretty cute. 3K for goats? What oh do you mean, God. chat? Can we not make this a thing this week, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yesterday, Pokey said, like, at 5K, we would go in with the goats, and, like, the goats headbutt. Like, they're really Oh, yeah, they headbutt. Oh, my God. Chat wants me to get herdied. Yeah, so... They want me to take you in with the goats because they think it's funny. Uh, I don't want to take you in there because they'll hurt you. Oh, thanks, Maya. You're welcome, Janet. Thanks, <laughs> Chad. And we're back. And we're wow. back. Wow. All right. Okay, if you want to put this one back on, okay. get rid of these freaking things. Okay, we're just going to be on the backpack because the studio does not okay. want to swap over, which is fine. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. Guys, uh, <laughs> sorry for making you put that in your hair. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, sorry about that. Hello, guys. Hello. That is the end of the Alveus tour. Incredible. Incredible stream. Thank you for having me. No, truly, like, my life no. has changed. <laughs> of course. Actually. <laughs> I I'm want, so like, so, like, what, how, like, how, how do I get, because I see the special things and stuff. Oh, my God, like, this is the best we can How do life. I? I will DM you. Okay, yes, please. I'm streamers, very interested. Streamer sponsor enclosures? Yes, I um, would love to okay. be a future sponsor, or if you don't have one for oh the holes already, God. I would love to. Excellent. Love to. Excellent. It would, it would make me so happy. Okay, yeah, I'll DM you. That's yes. so fun. Yay. Um, yeah, there are plaques on all the enclosures. I don't know if you guys saw them. So we can get plaques. We can get a, a Janet plaque. Yeah. Chuckle bars plaque. Yeah. Um, you guys, thank you so much for your donations today. Um, we really, really appreciate them. Again, we're, we operate entirely off of donations. Um, so it's huge for us and the animals. Thank you very much. I hope you guys learned some stuff. I hope you learned some fun I stuff. I did. If you have I some... have more appreciation to, like, bugs for yay sure. that's bugs. the biggest one dude that's me. my life dream because i did not care for bugs lives. i just want people to like bugs i'm not gonna lie that's awesome i wouldn't say i like love them but i like care for their <laughs> lives more bugs. i do care for their lives more hooray and i'm not afraid of reptiles anymore that I you did great really with the scared. reptiles yeah you did great with everybody well, actually you were like not scared of anybody Except for the bugs. The cockroaches were the scariest. Except for the bugs. Oh, thank you for the hundred and twenty dollars. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think that's all I have. Do you have anything else, Chad? Do you have anything? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Just thank you again, seriously. Of course. And I hope chat you guys love this because I had so much fun. Yay! Fun stream. Crazy stream. So many of you here too. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Raid um, Elvis. Yay! It's live right now. You I guys want to see the animals yes. all raid. the time in their enclosures? Mod, please raid Alvea Sanctuary after this. You can see what they're doing when people aren't looking. Mm -hmm. 
mis coming up with mischief, being mischievous. Three and more collabs. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow. tomorrow who's Kimmy? On Kimmy's tomorrow. And then Ray. And, and then, then Leslie. Foosley. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Foosley. Oh, so there'll yeah. be more. There'll be more. More collabs. I'm excited to see how the animals do with every person. It'll be interesting. Oh, I, there I'm going to feel so special if they, like, no I don't offense, know, but I'm praying for their downfall. <laughs> there <laughs> I hope they. <laughs> there were animals who did not come out yesterday at all. Yay. So yeah. So no. Today was really really good. I'm. I want to be special. Guys, if you want to watch those streams, um, it's on all of their channels. Uh, so Angels Kimmy tomorrow, Valkyrie Sunday, and Foosley on Monday. No spoilers as well. All at two. Whenever p. she goes back to bring all the bugs. No stuff, spoilers. No spoilers. You can say the names of it, but do not say what it is. Yeah. Cause, like. That was huge. I liked not being spoiled. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Go say hi to the animals for Yay. us.